Another season finale in the books. Champions of the Realm Season 2 Qualifier was a wild one. You know, we just recently got some nerfs in Mortal Kombat 1. Technically a balanced patch, but it seems to have not shifted the meta quite yet. I feel like give the game a couple more weeks, we might be seeing a little meta shift. Do me the biggest favor if you've been enjoying all this Champions of the Realms action. Slap that like button, subscribe to the channel. For the love of God, let's get to 100k subscribers. That being said, let's get into this crazy action. They sought the most powerful beings across all the realms. But only one can be crowned the champion of the realms. <laughs> Season two finale, nally, nally. Yo, your shirt is kind of green screen and out right now. Is that is that oh, because no. of me? Is yeah, that... you got to turn off your. Oh, your, hold your on, let me see. Your ultra key or your chroma key. I'm at a right. You I'm wearing a, I'm wearing green. You told you told me you said we're wearing green today, Caboose. You no. said you better no. bring a whole. You better have listen. a whole bunch of no, green on. I know what's happening, chat. That's not the green screen chroma key. That's Caboose fading away after this last balance pass that <laughs> NRS just dropped. This guy is getting there you go. This there guy you go. is getting Thanos snapped out of existence. Netherrealm dropped one of the craziest patches yet. Oh, they, so they they dropped the hammer on a bunch of characters. Caboose, things are gonna get a little spicy. You know, this isn't pro competition, so they just dropped yeah. the nuke right before the finale. Yeah, <laughs> nobody cares about us over here. You know, they, they they spared the patch during the uh, the last finale pro uh, or the not the last pro comp that went down in Brazil, and we're here, Caboose. How you feel about today? Yeah, I mean, like you said, there was a big patch that went out. They finally like pushed out a bunch of changes to the game. They nerfed things like Storm Cell. Johnny got a bit of a nerf from what we were talking about before we went live. You're telling me that it it, it didn't affect them as much. But um, they also, I mean, they nerfed my boy Peacemaker, man. Or I guess, I guess technically it was a bug. Um, but I Wait, feel like what? he just wanted to reduce his damage. What was a bug? Right? Wait, is that? I thought that's what I was seeing people say online that like the striker nades into the loops was a bug. I guess you technically weren't allowed or shouldn't have been allowed to loop it twice. So, so I you, don't know. So you telling me that was a bug? Know. That was a bug whatever, for the last whether, whether for the entire release they, of the game. Whether it was the bug that they fixed or whether they were just nerfing Peacemaker that quick, I think that's crazy. I, I I think that Peacemaker, I mean, yeah, he dished out a ton of damage, but I think it was interesting to see that there was a new character, a new DLC character that was like right away. People were like, this is the new main, you know, this is going to become yeah. a new staple well, to, to tournaments, you know, and I was really interested Peacemaker, to see what serious. people were going to do. And I, th I still think he's really good. I mean, oh, yeah. okay. You can't dish out 50, 60 percent. I mean, you might be able to still get 50, yeah. but, but you can't get upwards of like 60 easily you anymore. Know, considering all the tools he has, I do feel like he's in a fair spot right now. Not being able to yeah. loot those uh, cameos and get a ridiculous amount of damage. But I feel like the meta is going to evolve with Striker or uh, with Peacemaker really soon. And I yeah. bet we're going to be seeing a lot more cario, uh, cameos paired up with him. But, but Kung Lao, Kung Lao, I don't want to really talk about got it. Slashed. I don't want to talk about the Kung Lao. I don't want to talk <laughs> about the Kung Lao. hasn't been able to get sleep since the. I don't want to talk about the Kung Lao, man. That's that, rough, man. That's listen, rough. That Kung Lao nerf, hit. you definitely feel it. You can't loop the Lao uh, hard to blockables after every combo, which I guess is all right. And you know, especially some characters that were really elevated by Kung Lao, you do have to work a little bit harder now to get yeah. those wins. But Caboose, the finale we got here today, this Holy is it. Smoke. Eight weeks and we're already here. Can you believe it? 
I, I cannot destroy her. Honestly, it has been such a wild two months of competitive play for Mortal Kombat. Every single person who is qualified here easily could be crowned your champion of the realms for season two. And it is going to be a wild top eight for you guys tonight. Get wrecked. Hourglass of Rain, the Mighty Unjust, Pulse, Bandinos, ELG, Marie, King Gambler, and El Kukui. It's definitely going to be a wild ride, man. And honestly, to tell you the truth, Caboose, you look at a roster like this, a bracket like this, like you said, there truly is no telling who's going to win. You know, we don't have a lot of the big top dog killers in this bracket. I'm not saying nobody here is a top dog killer, but we don't have the top three. And you know what the top three is. Ninja Killer sonic fox and the third slot is debatable right but oh uh, yeah it is debatable in, in na but my lord this is going to be a wild one i'm going to send the invites first match is going to be get wrecked yo walter white yo skylar white yo <laughs> going I mean, up against our glass already of this first match already destroyer is explosive get wrecked against our glass of rain my goodness what a way to start off our top eight for the night destroyer I'm so hyped. Season two's finale is about to go down. We're just waiting for the competitors to get in here. We see Hourglass. We're waiting for Get oh, Wrecked. Oh, going down. This is it. And it's going, it's going down. down. This Game is it. Is about to be underway. My goodness, Destroyer. I'm so incredibly hyped. I mean, especially, too, with a big shakeup like that last patch. I mean, Johnny got a bit of a nerf. Kenshi got a bit of a nerf. I'm wondering, you know, we've got some Johnnies, we've got some Kenchis here in the tournament. What are yes. they going to do to try and adjust now? Let's see. We'll find out in just one second here. I mean, Get Wrecked Yo Johnny. has devoted a lot of time to this character, Johnny Cage. We've seen him play in season one throughout the entirety of that season. And he kind of came back in season two with the Johnny Cage action as well. But I mean, for real, man, it looks like he's going with the Kung Lao. Both of these characters have been nerfed, Caboose. <laughs> FYI, the Kung Lao cameo and the Johnny Cage character looking like a stupid idiot with the Joker hair. Let's see what happens here. Let's see indeed. Game one underway. Our first match of the night for the big $4,000 prize pool top eight finale. And hey, if you guys want to add to that prize pool before this night ends, you absolutely still can do so. Just hit exclamation point Macharino in the chat. And exclamation point Odin. Definitely support the sponsor of the tournament. You know, they made the right. series that much crazier. All the competitors are going to be getting custom merch from Odin Sama luxury clothing brand. It's going to be wild. Look at the pressure. Already getting started from Nerf to Johnny Cage. He doesn't look too nerfed to me, buddy. Still looking very strong from what we can see on the surface, but... See what happens and yeah that cool out cameo another one that got a big hit so i wonder if uh if we're gonna see the effects of some of these adjustments come into play tonight so far hourglass of rain with the life lead they're kind of just chipping away at each other we haven't seen too many openings and just when i say that get wrecked finds one hit with a breaker from hourglass of rain Still stuck in this corner, though. 30 seconds to go, oh, and there's the God. hard to blockable. That is kind of like our class of rain forte. Remember the last season he just took recently? He smacked somebody with like seven of those overheads back to back. Yes, he put one right. of the competitors in a coma. It was it was messed up. Good, confirmed there. Gonna force get right to breaker. It's kind of wild that they, you know, they kind of slapped Kung Lao cameo on the wrist, and honestly, it's not enough to get these players off of that cameo. Yeah, no doubt. Good oh! stuff from Get Rack. Backing up, caught that jump in, but missed the follow up, unfortunately. Now Hourglass is going to find an opening. All right, close things out here, and that'll be that. Hourglass takes Team One Destroyer. Wow, incredible stuff right now. Hourglass or Rain looking real pretty with this Molina. And he's got the Invasion skin, so you know this dude's been grinding. Not <laughs> competitively, right. but casually. Damn right about that, Destroyer. Good stuff from Hourglass of Rain taking this first game against Get Wrecked. Yo, Walter White. Yo. Get right, Yo. Walter White. Yo. Yo, are you ready for uh, for Monday? Uh, oh, is that Janet? No, that's the uh, apparently the return or new announcement or something for Multiverses. Man, don't even talk to me about that. 
<laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Listen, hey, all I'm, I'm gonna say, to what all, gonna do. all I'm gonna say is I hope they can have a, a really nice return, you know, because I definitely lost interest in multiverses, that fat break they took, and the way the game was just running at uh, offline events, I, I just lost interest in it. But hopefully, man, they bring it back and, and things go uphill for multiverse because it was a super fun game. Cross. Yep. Good blocks on the overhead there. The defense on both parties right now looking real good. Is that an intentional sort of drop it there? You want to continue the combo? Yeah, Rex is still holding on to this corner pressure, though, Destroyer. That's something you like to call a pipo drop. Oh, right. Oh, that catches the overhead. It's a low size that time. Pull out cameo. Still working. Charged up ball roll. Will not get punished. As it's uh, safe on block. Yo, by the way, big shout out to everybody dropping a sub. Really appreciate it. We keep this craziness going. We might end up hitting a hype train on the finale stream. And you know what that means? That means <laughs> I'm going to start twerking live on camera. Oh my goodness, there we go. Ooh. Your full screen ball roll connect. And now we're about to bring a voice to wake up. Gets caught by the Lao Hat though, and that allows Gamera to get a punish in. Alas with the breaker. I like that a lot. Beautiful stuff here from Get Wrecked right now. Destroyer just maintaining this corner control. I like this. And here we go, this is gonna hurt. Oh yeah. The star power to destroy if you wanted to use it. Find a setup for it. Hourglass of rain, not in a good spot, and he's just gonna get chipped out. He's just gonna get jabbed out, I guess. Get wrecked. Time to set up now, one to one. Well, I mean, from the looks of it, bro, that was Johnny Cage pressure in full effect right there, right? He had him in the corner. He was going nonstop with the standing staggers that result into plus frames, and the next thing you know, Hourglass of rain is finito. Damn right about that. He said, so far, no, listen, if you, don't if you hit me. me. What? If you if you were telling me that there wasn't a patch that went out, I, I mean, I would believe you. So far, everything's looking like, you know, it's, it's business as usual for both these competitors. Yeah, man, you know, listen, this finale was about uh, two weeks away since, since we had uh, the Peacemaker release, right? I honestly want to see if anybody pulls out Peacemaker. The character's super strong, he's got a lot of tools. And to be honest with you, bro, okay. he's a top contender. He's a top contender to hang out with the big boys in this game. Yo, okay, get them in the building, dropping a resub. Thank you. Huge, huge supporter of the Champions of the Realm series in the chat right there. Show some love for the homie Skeptum. All right, Caboose, look. He doesn't have to drop 100 stuff, okay? Relax. <laughs> bro, seriously, relax, bro. Yo, Skeptum, if you drop 100 subs, me and Destroyer will put live on the air with you. Relax, relax. I'm not trying to get put in that situation. Okay, that's not Take him a stupid A lot of pressure here. Get wrecked. Locking him down with the Johnny Cage pressure. And like you said earlier, if you wouldn't have told me this game was patched, you wouldn't believe it. It's something you had to play to feel for yourself. Fair enough. Beautiful stuff there. Kept him with the 25 gifted. Oh my gifted. god. What a beast. Oh my god. You better stop practicing. Yo, but Skeptum, thank you so much, brother, for real. I'm practicing the twerking right now. But bro, why the hell, when I get a massive amount of subs, my stream never starts a, a hype train? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Can you reach out to your Twitch contact? Help me out. Yeah, I don't know what happened. All right. I'm just backing away here. Oh, it started. Never mind. I lied. That a hype train is close. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, wait. How? <laughs> Forget about this. I'm, I'm moving to a different streaming platform. Wait, destroy. This could be bad for Hourglass of Rain. He's got to make sure he can find a hit and just wakes up buttons. Close out the round. The back and forth we're seeing already here, Destroy with these competitors. Not looking one sided at all. Okay, the jump back, Hourglass of Rain, keeping that distance. Wanted to set up the Lao Hat. That's another thing too now, Caboose, like, with the Lao cameo nerf, 
if you get hit out of your setup or something happens where you waste that entire cameo meter, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta wait a little bit for it to come back now. The recharge rate is slower and it drains more meter. So you're gonna yeah. see, be seeing that Lao Hat a lot less on the screen. Yeah, you're not gonna see those pressure tools be used nearly as often as it used to be. Which I guess there's our first glimpse at kind of the nerf in action destroyer. I like that. Oh, there's an opening though for Hourglass of Rain. Stuff there. And Rex was able to block and gets the fatal blow out before the three bars of meter from Hourglass to avoid the breaker attempt. This is also going to do a ton of damage, Destroyer. An easy 50 plus. Oh my god. What is he to follow up here though? Three bars of meter, like I said, for Hourglass is very good. And Hourglass gets the jump in, closes this one out. He's up two to one. And one more game here, Caboose, and that's gonna be sending our uh it's gonna be saying get right to the lower side of the bracket. You think uh, uh get right deal screaming right now saying, Why they turned my cabin? I can see it, I can see it. Why did they turn Johnny Cage? Man. I feel like I feel like half the people in this top eight would be saying that right now. There's a lot of Johnny Cage players in here. Oh, so you don't think so? I'm sorry, who's Johnny Cage? So you're better than me, just say. Hey, 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 hey. So hey, hey, say, hey. You think you're better than me, then. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Stupid idiot, sorry. I didn't, I didn't say that. Sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, relax. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't say that. So, so you said you were a, you were a pipe bomb. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. The luck. I didn't say that. Okay, good, good pick up here. Hourglass of rain. Getting the party started once again. The overhead hard knockdown boys puts him on the ground. The up block gonna come in clutch in the standing fort. Have a nice day. Yo, we got a lot of heavy supporters in the chat right now. I see double knives Big as well. Out. All right, you know what? I'm pissed. That's it, Caboose. Turn on Darude Sandstorm. I'm gonna start twerking. Put on a max volume, all right? Don't do that. Go to the max Maximum volume. Maximum volume. Oh! That could have been GG's there if Get Wreck didn't have that breaker. He's gonna find an opening. Is our glass of rain gonna spend the meter to get out of this? Oh my god, the bait out on the up block. This is getting crazy. This might be nice, nice for this right now. Hourglass can close it out. Destroyer, the hard to block. The ball is so painful. But wait a second. Wake up, fatal blow. It's going to fail. It's going to connect. Oh my god. Only a true master here. Get wrecked with probably the only option he could have gone for right then and there. Destroyer. 35% off that fatal blow. He needs to shut oh, down. Oh, the ball roll in the air from Hourglass. Oh, as a punish, and that will be that as he twists the neck of Get Wrecked from Johnny Cage. An hourglass of rain taking the first set of the night. Wow. Wow. Wubsy if I've Call ever seen wubsy. one. Call it a wow, wow, wubsy if I've ever seen one. That was actually ridiculous what we just witnessed. Get Wrecked, though, definitely still in this. Oh, absolutely. Nobody is out of this just yet. And remember, this is not how we usually do our top eight from week to week. Everybody starts off in winners. So right now, you know, Get Wreck does get sent to the loser's bracket. We still have an entire round one of winners matches to go through. The only thing that we will mention is that loser's round one is played off stream. So please, for the, uh, for the players, in case you weren't already aware, we let everybody know in the group chat, though. So hopefully they're, they're well aware of that. All the losers round one matches will be played off stream. Everything else, though, we'll make sure is on stream for you guys. Yes, so sir. Big shout out to Skeptums. Skeptums hit an exclamation point match arena. Oh, no, I don't Skeptums wanna... are, Skeptum just dropped 500 on the match arena. You're lying. Skeptum just dropped are 500 on the match arena. The tournament now nearing $4,600. Are you, are you being serious? Goal. I'm being 100% serious right now, Destroy. Skeptum with another spirit bomb. This dude, I mean, I don't know if you guys remember what happened Skeptum. with season one, 
But this dude pulled up and he got our turn. I, I think Stepped I remember up. that season one's prize pool was at like 5,000 or something. And he jumped it up all the way to like eight. So that's why I'm saying you guys don't don't be fooled by what the prize pool number is. And it still was pretty high for, for this finale when we started the night. But don't be fooled. That is not the same number that it'll be by the end of the night when you got people like Skeptum in the chat. Seriously, man, the dude is a straight legend. Um, I don't know how many times I could thank the man, you know, definitely supporting our tournament times. series. Okay, right now. Thank you, 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 times 67. But yo, seriously, bro, honestly, right now, get right getting sent down to the losers early was something a lot of people didn't expect you know the character did catch a fat nerf so we're just gonna have to see time will tell where get Rex stands in this tournament but That's right you know me and caboose with such a generous prize pool thanks to our incredible contributors we were able to pay out the entire top eight. So that's right. That's even right. if get Rex loses he's gonna at least be getting enough to get himself to knife mcdonald's or something 100 percent all right, no, you want to get the that next is, invite out? Mighty Unjust versus Pulse? What's that? You want to get the next invite out? Oh, yeah, sure. What are the uh, what are the PSNs? The Mighty Pine Barons. And then Pulse. Mighty Pine Barons. Let me see something real quick. Um, I don't know if I have the, the, the prize payout scene still. Okay, no, I turned it into the Odin Sama. But um, we'll just tell you guys the breakdown for the prize pool. What a four thousand? What is it? Four thousand, almost four thousand six hundred. We have. Yeah, the prize pool right now nearing forty six hundred dollars, which is amazing, crazy stuff. And just to give you guys an estimate of what these players will be getting in percentages, do the math. Go do the math. But yes, we got. We we haven't filled out the exact numbers yet because we anticipated that maybe some people were going to spirit bomb us for the last night but go ahead give them the percentages i forgot uh where the hell did we put the percentage i got it right here so first place gets 50 percent of the prize pool second will get 20 percent third at 13. oh the players are here already pool. yep fourth is seven percent and then obviously and then five percent gets two percent of our prize pool again we haven't gone over the exact numbers of what people are going to get because that number is going to change is this unjust and pulse mighty unjust and pulse right oh, who is pulse playing i'm so confused kenji pulse playing kenji yeah wow Yo, you had me freaking out i was like wait did i invite the wrong people no, it's just it's just surprising pulse has been a hardcore johnny cage main since the dawn of the dinosaurs so see this guy pull out kenshi out of nowhere for the finale kind of caught me by surprise just another indication that that johnny nerf might have been a little rough for some of these players you don't think so nah i think you're a lion pizza time okay. why'd you say that to me that's messed up all right, somebody go to my chat and hit X to make point stupid idiot. Don't do that. If you guys do that, I'm ending the stream. Do it right now. Alrighty, round number one going to the mighty unjust. Dishing out that straight Baraka Kaka. I just want to say we started the stream with like 230 subs and we're already back at 280. If we can break that 300 subscribers, we will announce season three within the next week. No, I'm kidding. I won't. I won't announce season three. You know why? Because I'm sick and tired of this game. They keep on nerfing stuff. I don't want to play it no more. I wasn't expecting it. Could have had an opportunity there to call out the Sento. And there it is. Ooh. Oh, it's out. Sento boys. Let's see if he puts him in the Sento sandwich. Now, but Sento got nerfed a little bit too in terms of its chip damage, right? Uh, no. Was it not? I think Sento now... Uh, Sento now does damage to Kenshi when it gets hit. I don't know so much about the chip yeah, damage. Yeah, well, that... Nah, I knew about that one, but I think it got nerfed again. Oh, did he actually? I thought I remember reading that in the past. Like maybe I was experiencing some form of psychosis. Listen, I saw Kung Lao nerf, and I, would, I turned off all the patch notes. <laughs> Any patch notes that were ever existing, I got, I got them out of my face. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Damage when Sento was hit and block damage was nerfed a bit. There you go. So you call me a stupid idiot. Man. Here we go though, just wear the Sento sandwich in full effect. Shut down with the breaker. Oh, nicely done the forward three connector by the unjust. All of block there from Mighty and Just. That's going to allow him to avoid a lot of chips. And it is backing off here. Doesn't want to get too aggressive. I respect it. You know, one wrong move and <laughs> the Mighty Unjust could just poop his pants. Kind of like I am right now. 20 seconds left on the clock, Destroyer. All using the shoulder charge with the Sub Zero Cam. Nope. Keep himself a little safe. Does not have the Sento and he is stuck in the Sento stance. This could be very detrimental. Mighty and just with a huge 30% combo. Five seconds left on the clock. He needs the. Oh no, he got the overhead. Oh my he god. He needed the fatal. Blow what was that? Destroyer. Timer literally going down to the wire. Mighty Unjust taking game number one. Look, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I can already see a little bit of like uh, discomfort here. Pulse and the uh, yeah. Tenshi. I don't know if he's just, you know, not feeling the Johnny Cage right now. I don't know if he doesn't like the matchup. I don't know what the case is. I think Johnny does good against the entire cast, you know, given the tools he has. He sure. can really put a beating. So, honestly, if all hope is lost, Pulse should kind of bend a little bit on that Johnny Cage, see if he can make something happen. I think I tend to agree with you on this destroyer. I don't know if that Johnny was affected as much as some people think, especially from what you were telling me while we were off stream. Considering it is the character that someone like Pulse knows best. What's that? Me off stream. What's that? I didn't tell you anything off stream. Oh, my fault. Mighty Unjust though dominating in the corner here now. Catches the back three with the striker cameo to assist. Got that extra damage, 28%. Oh, he's gonna get punished, but the striker cameo coming to the rescue. Here's the shoulder charge. Oh, and a breaker from Pulse. A lot of resources to spend. He catches the oh. whip punish off the forward three attempt. Here comes Sento. This could be a huge comeback now for Paul. He only needs one more hit confirmed into Fatal to close it up. To be honest, just one more hit confirmed. The pressure? Wait, he goes for Fatal? I don't think that's oh, going to be on time. And he has oh. a striker as well. Yikes. Yeah, that was definitely a risky Fatal Blow attempt to Destroyer. Well, listen, the loss of the round. I'm going to be honest, at least uh, Barack is still thriving with Striker, it seems. Yeah, I'm noticing that that's still a combo that works out really well. That's a deluxe combo with extra cheese. All right, Paul's going to Sento sandwich him. That's a nice pressure strike. Shoot. That's a good trade. Yeah, that was a disgusting block from Paul's making the read on the armor. Sento advancing alongside Kenshi. That is the end of the Sento, and this is where Mighty Unjust needs to take advantage. Still has a couple bars of meter, so if he gets an opening, Spicy he can get Sento right duck. back in business. They close it out on this round right here with the Sento sandwich setup. And there it is, beautiful stuff from Paul. I mean, Caboose, when he has you in Sento sandwich, there's... Almost literally nothing you can do unless you mistime it, right? Because Sento's behind you, and he meaties you. I'll be honest, I don't even bother when I play Kenshi online. I'm just like, you know what? Take your game, take your set, and let me get the hell out of here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, pretty much, you gotta just throw everything but the kitchen sink at them to avoid that Sento coming out, because once it does, like, that's the end of the round. You know, like, it's the, the round's done. So you calling me stupid? A little bit. Oh, and here we go. Sento at the ready. The Sento sandwich. We're going to the deli. Beautiful combo there for Pulse. The wake up attempt and the striker to keep himself a little safe. It's not going to be enough though, and Pulse will be able to take this game, tying up the set now one to one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, you know, maybe I spoke a little too soon, telling this guy to go try out Johnny Cage. And maybe he could pick the, the the skin where he has the stupid green hair. Maybe he maybe that'll work out. Boy, sticking with the Kenshi 
proving us wrong. Going crazy right now with the Blind Swordsman. I like that. Caboose. Both of these players tied yeah. one to one. They're trying to keep like their... That, huh? I like that a lot. These players are trying to keep their winner side position. Yeah, you know what? Let's get about 100 more subs in the chat. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I like that, yeah. You know what? Hear me. What? 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 We let Koba into the office. My bad. I told him he could visit just this one time. He wasn't good title hands. You know how it is. Tell him to never show his face around these streets again. Bro, you're gonna pick them off, man. You gotta watch your mouth. Here we go. Good breaker. Heidi Unjust pulling out the Raiden now. Now, here's a character that got nerfed, but you will never tell he got nerfed. Yeah, what do they do? They just, uh... They reduce his chip damage by 0.5%. On the Storm Cell? On Storm Cell. Oh, yeah, that's just a non-existent nerf, man. <laughs> they gotta nerf the, the character in the background on this game. Who's that? Mama Juana? Really oh. That's Mama Juana in the background? Yeah. Oh, you talking about your boy a little more to the left. Yes. What'd you do if they go there and he's not there anymore? It turns out they nerfed him too. I'm calling Ed Boone right after this. Look, they're, they're going to the other side, side of the stage purposely. You know, see that. Yeah, I can't get stupid and he's just fighting. I can't get out of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped yeah. blocked over. Yeah. We just got a taste of him. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, 36%. There's the storm cell. Oh, no. Three seconds left on the clock. I didn't even realize the time was running out on that round there to square. We're definitely going to be seeing a lot of that caboose. Timers going down. Yo, okay. Listen, the support in the chat right now is out of control. Hey, we might off. as well keep it going. You feel me? We might as well keep it going. All right, I'll no, I don't it. want to. Get out of here. Yo, Blaine Tiger with $30 in the match arena this year. We are now at $4,615 for the prize pool. Once again, if you have the need to do so, if you'd like to add more to that prize pool, just hit exclamation point match arena in the chat. Look at this now, Destroyer Pulse with the corner pressure. Flying up the rounds? Yes, indeed. Nice to make them for party bass quest? I got you. You're going to make that a new command now. www.fartyvasquez.com Forward slash Jimmy Stool The projectiles, good flawless block there from Pulse. I think everyone we've ever seen play against the Raiden has consistently, pretty much without fail, flawless blocked the charged projectiles. You're not lying to me now, are you? I mean, unless there's something in front of me. <laughs> Beautiful stuff here now from Mighty Unjust finding the opening. The breaker available for Pulse is not going to have to use it. There's the Storm Cell, and okay, now forced to use the breaker. Pulse needs to find an opening, he needs to find it now. Using the ice armor, it's not going to work at all. It's a really tough position to be in for Pulse. Not a whole ton of life left and not a lot of meter to eat the chip damage. Oh, oh no, no, the Sub-Zero cameo is out of range. Oh, and no. that will be that. Man, what a series of unfortunate events right there. The Mighty Unjust going up two games to one here over Pulse. Now that he switched to the Raiden, you think we see Johnny? Could be a good pick. It could be a good pick, bro. Don't sit there and look at me like I'm a stupid idiot because you're the stupid idiot. It could be a good pick. Right, go to my chat right now and hit up some point stupid idiot in the chat. And then copy and paste that message and put it in here. Serious right now? Yeah. I'm serious. You really gonna do me like that, huh? Thank you. Well, there you have it, chat. 
Caboose is being dead serious right now. Okay, the shoulder charge. Yeah, Pulse sticking with the Tenchi pick destroyer. Out of shimmying from both these competitors, finding that opening. Mighty unjust. And a hang on to the corner now, too. He's gonna hurt into a setup with the storm cell. No, right. the overhead. But there's the storm cell. No. Okay, there it is, finally. When in doubt, storm cell it out. That's the motto. I mean, if you don't live by that motto, I don't know what to tell you. Good. Stagger on the standing, too. Jump. Yes, sir. He's gonna summon the Senso again. Puts him in the sandwich. This could be huge. He's got a fat corner cut. Oh, dropped it. But okay, catches the overhead, forcing the breaker now out of Mighty Unjust. Pulse does have the fatal blow at the ready. Gets the up block off the jump in attempt. Pops the fatal blow. That's going to be the round. I'm speechless. Pulse almost dropping the ball there, but he picks it right back up. He's the Kenshi, bro. Looking really strong here. I gotta agree with you. So you think I'm a stupid idiot? I I, I didn't want to say it, but um, I'll let the guy in the back. Ah, look at you! Get out of way! What are you doing? Come on! Gonna wake up there. Pulse catching the forward throw. I like that. Tries to tag him with the low poke. Nicely done with that shimmy there, Destroyer, to get the opening off the whip punish. Didn't flawless block the projectile. That's so much chip damage. So this is running away here. I respect the play style. I mean, the guy in the background just pleading with these competitors to stop fighting. My goodness. Well, I think he's telling them to stop zoning each other out here. He wants them to fight. <laughs> he wants them to get up close. All right. Here we go. Pulse can close this out right now. Destroyer even without the Sento. He definitely can. Oh, my goodness. No more defensive meter. And that down poke will do it. Pulse sending us to our first game five of the night. Wow, man. Things already heating up here. Caboose. I think we got ourselves a rocky road ahead of us. You like rocky road ice cream? It's good. Oh well, we got God. ourselves a rocky road ice cream ahead of us here, man. This is starting off to be something quite special. The Mighty Unjust versus Pulse already going to a final game here. Get hyped! He's spanky doodle. Spanky doodle. Put that away. Spanky doodle, put that away. What's he doing? He's getting a little too frisky here. Spanky Doodle's getting a little too frisky, and to be honest with you, bro, I don't, I don't like it. I hate this guy. Stupid Spanky Doodle piece of garbage. Look at this! The Mighty Unjust is sitting in the character select screen, thinking about yeah. what he has to do here to defeat Pulse. I respect Respect it, taking quite a bit of time here. Just waiting. Being extra patient and mighty unjust. Goes to Tanya, gonna put it on you. With the Batanya's gonna put it on you. Batanya, Tanya, gonna put it on you. With the Batanya's. Gonna put it on you. Tanya's. But Tanya, Tanya, gonna put it on you with the Batanya started things off here. Mighty unjust. That is gonna hurt 31%. Follow up now for Mighty Unjust. Mighty Unjust has picked several different characters throughout the entire set, and it's performed extremely well with all of the characters. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. He's gotten a win with the Baraka. He's gotten a win with the Raiden. Can he now close it out with this Tanya? 
Stuck now in the Sento sandwich. Yeah, right. This is the only character within this entire rotation of matches we've had today that hasn't been uh, uh, touched. You're right. That's about even on the life bar. That low poke, though, will give Pulse just ever so slightly the life lead. As I say, that mighty unjust trying to close it out. The breaker from Pulse. Such a close first round here. Oh, my God. Sweet. Oh, good oh, block. Safe into another helicopter spin. That'll take the round. Mighty unjust now on match point. This is way too down to the wire caboose. I can't even breathe properly. Backing off. Really close. Yeah, they're playing that neutral here. Good duck on that Batania. Gonna put it on you with the Tanya. Gonna put it on you, Batania. Oh no, this is bad news. Bears. The combo. Pulse cannot be dropping in such a crucial moment right now. I don't know if it's nerves or what, but man, he is missing out on so much potential here. This is actually gonna be giving Mighty Unjust a huge opportunity to take this away, Kaboom. Loses the central, unfortunately. Now needs to find an opening. Up from Mighty Unjust again, just keeping himself safe with that Goro cameo. Sweep has so much range on it. Okay, beautiful stuff there for Pulse. Now the breaker. Oh no, he dropped the middle blow. Wait, Mighty what? Unjust wasn't expecting it. Oh my goodness, what is happening? There's a scrambled eggs. Scrambled it's a eggs. scrambled eggs right now. Oh, it's so close, Destroyer. The shoulder charge for the safety. Pulse just needs a couple of hits. He goes for the throw. The tech from Mighty Unjust. Oh my god, he's just backing he's up here. The Go for the low and the range. The down two to take the round. Oh, Final please. game. Final round. That was a full breakfast buffet. Forget a scrambled egg. Yeah, he had the tostones, the mango, and the salami all in one. All in one platter right there. Okay, they're kind of getting into a little zone war here. Good patience right now from the mighty, un or I mean, Pulse. He's gonna go for the throw. It's gonna be 130 damage. A little extra, extra subby damage. Meatball sub with extra cheese. Go with punish. Oh no. Look at the footsies here, Caboose. These guys are just rocking back and forth right now. Oh! He break dances on him! The girl are gonna capitalize on the dammy. Yes, this is gonna hurt. He's putting the Tanya, but Tanya gonna put it on you, but Tanya, Anya gonna put it on you, but Tanya. The Batania's gonna put it on you, but Tanya. Yo, now, what's crazy? That's one opening here, Destroyer. I was gonna say, what's crazy is nobody has spent the fatal blow yet. Right. Still a resource available for both the competitors. Right now, though, Paul's in the position to potentially be able to close out the match. If he's able to get that Sento out, 20 seconds on the clock, Mighty Unjust, I'd imagine, is paying very close attention to that timer. The breaker not from Paul. He uses the Ice Armor to avoid the projectile. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, the sweep connect every single hit. Just puts Paul further and further away, and Mighty Unjust wow. connects his combo with Goro to close the set out, winning with three different characters throughout oh the entire set. My God, talking about planning accordingly, right? This guy had a character for all the situations that were kind of brought to him. That was wild stuff, man. Big, big shout outs to the Mighty Unjust winning that. You know, I feel like Mighty Unjust is definitely one of the top favorites to take this entire tournament and already setting himself up in a really good position here. Going to be advancing to the... He's going to go to round two now to face off against Hourglass of Rain. We will get to that set later on, though. Up next, Destroyer is going to be a crazy set once again between ELG Marie and Bandinos. Now, Bandinos is someone I have been anticipating to see in Champions of the Realms again for quite a while since he qualified. That rain is disgusting, and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing it once again here tonight. I want to see that, too. Yeah, I want to see All that right. too. Let me get these. Uh, let me get these invites out. I don't know Marie's uh, PSM, but I got Bandinos. Hold on, give me one second. Can you just give me one second, you stupid idiot? No. Yo, give Marie, me. what's your what's your PSN? Give me one second. Yo, Marie. Uh, I think it's E L G underscore Marie. I'm pretty sure. All right, perfect. Let me just block this PSN real quick, and then uh, 
We can ban him from the tournament. What do you think about that? Uh, honestly, bro, I think that's a really good I idea. All right, hold I on. Don't see just trying to set up the bracket here. So it looks like that's going to be putting the Mighty Unjust moving forward to face off against the Hourglass of Rain. And then that loss for Paul sends him down to fight. Get wrecked, or is he on the other side of the bracket? Uh, let me see. Yeah, Get Wrecked will now have to fight Pulse in Losers Round 1. They can just play their match, by the way. Pulse and Get Wrecked, you guys can just go ahead and play off stream. And then let us know what the scores are in the Discord. Yes. Um, I'm not seeing um, Marie on PSN. Pulse actually might be streaming, added. so be on the lookout for that. If you guys are really interested in, in these particular players, always be on the lookout. Make sure to see if they're not streaming so you can catch their matches that are not going to be on the uh on the stream here is right, peacemaker who, who you allowed for? mighty unjust ass yes yes peacemaker is legal bro we literally had peacemaker like the very second day he was released yeah no seriously we we we've always been about that like as long as the characters aren't completely busted and broken and have like something disgusting that's just not fair um or that's like literally like game breaking we they're turning them illegal like we did that with the um, we did with the uh, Omni Man. Yeah. We did that with Quan Chi. We didn't see a lot of Quan Chi's day one. Um, but yeah, we're doing that with Peacemaker. And we will continue to do that in future tournaments with the upcoming DLC. But all right, our competitors are in here. Locked and loaded. Bandinos with the rain. What's the cameo pick? Sub. And then Marie as well with another Kenji Destroyer. Also rocking the Sub Hero cameo. This one should be interesting. Good. Well, we already know uh, Kenshi not really affected by the nerfs. Yeah, I think Kenshi's nerfs were, uh, were pretty minimal. Yeah, the character is still very, very scary. To be honest, from the sounds of it, based on what you're telling me, it seems that the only characters that got that big of a hit were specifically the Kung Lao cameo and, like, you could maybe say Johnny, but even then, I don't know how bad it was. Oh, you think you are? Uh, you think you're Johnny Cage? I'm Jonathan Stool. You think you're Johnny Cage, huh? My name is uh, Mortalitus Combaticus. All right, Jimmy Stools. Hey. Relax. Our Marie with a healthy life lead now to Destroyer. Pushing Bantinos all the way into the corner with his Sento. Drops it. And Dino gets an opening. All right, Jimmy Schools, I'm gonna need you to take a step back and breathe. Here comes the hard to block pull. No? Okay. I'm gonna set up the toilet flush. There's a throw. And Dino's back against the wall. Mari with three bars of meter two destroyer. Oh, the jump in! Beautiful stuff! Guaranteed breaker coming in from Mari. Yes, indeed. Holy 15 cow. 15 seconds up on the clock, though. Holy cow. Oh, the back dash. And the down two anti-air from Mari. Good reaction there off the attempt to jump in. Okay, okay, Mari. Slow down there. Slow down there, buddy. Nice to stagger with the Senso Sword. He's going to catch him with a throw. Try to up block there. Up block is definitely one of the, the most interesting and honestly most fun like mini games that they introduce. Yes, I one. agree. But you know what's crazy is like being a veteran NRS player, it, I feel like up blocking does definitely take a little getting used to because you know we're, yes. we're kind of hardwired to just go for a standing normal to try to anti air or like a down right, two right. Or, or something of that nature. But a lot of these jump ins in this game, bro, they are intense. So being ready for that up block is definitely the move. Sometimes, like you said, like sometimes that standing two anti-air is the more viable option in certain situations. So it's not like that's been like completely erased from the uh, from the playstyle in MK1. But I do like the addition of the up block. Okay, as we're saying, as all that though, just for Fantinos with a crazy combo here in the corner, gonna set up with the toilet flush. Oh. So hard to block that. Wait, I'm confused. That opened him up, but he didn't get caught by the toilet flush. Yeah, I don't even know what happened there. Interesting. Bandino's hitting us with some forbidden tech right now. DLG Mari. By the way, man, I gotta say, you know, this player, unfortunately, he had issues with his PlayStation 5 Mari. So he's actually playing uh, 
borrowing a buddy's PlayStation 5. Oh, respect to his friend for allowing him to borrow the PlayStation so that he was able to compete tonight. Look at that corner combo. 47% damage on that destroyer. Bandino still getting punished here heavy. Into the throw. Bandino's now finally able to switch sides. They got both of them. Full sticks of butter now. There's the overhead. Oh, yeah. Three. Not going to hit the breaker. That could be punishing over oh, the throw. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Another throw connects. Now Marie's in a tough spot. Oh. oh. And another Ooh, forward throw. Like Cameo Sub Zero pulling through. Did you that see out the game? ELG Marie tried to outspace the living hell out of Bandinos, but this dude dashed up in his face and caught him with a throw. Like the balls on this man. The bovine balls on this man. That was like three forward throws in a row there, two to for her, what? 33%? Yeah, I, I, you know, when you're going up against a cameo like Sub-Zero, you got to get ready for those forward throws because they are going to chip away at that life bar like never before, bro. 130% each throw. Oh, Not that's too many right. Cameos. Yeah, Sub-Zero cameo. Yes. Cameo. You forgot yeah. about that? I did. You stupid idiot. <laughs> a lot of people are looking to nap. Oh, the life flesh pit. See if you can turn on the mic and have them reset this real quick. It's 1-0. It should still be 1-0. We just reset that last match. Or should I give two games to Marie? I think, why don't we just do that? All right, sounds good. Now watch, Marie's going to stop blocking second round. He's going to stop blocking second round. <laughs> Bandina's with a kick around the world. Nicely done, using the teleport, playing Portal 3 in here. That was sick. Hits him with another around the world. Beautiful stuff. Bandino. Gonna break through this defensive brick wall. And the chip damage with the meteor strike. Wow. Bandino's looking very strong here. Oh, he kind of bobs him in the head with the Sento. This is his chance to get active. My goodness. It's so hard to keep up with all the things happening on screen with Sento without this prayer. Good stuff from Bandinos, though. Staying calm, cool, and composed to get out of that corner. He's just backing up with that ice armor, charging up that staff, and dashing out of it to cancel. Here's the back throw. That is the meta of Mortal Kombat, man. The most recent titles are feel like an emphasis on patience is like seriously mandatory in these games, right? You want to run that timer. You want to take that life lead. You want to play like a complete buffoon. And there it is. The down two is going to connect. That's going to be a 2-0 lead for Bandinos. ELG Marie farting all over the place right now. My goodness. Party basketball. Bandino's up 2-0 now in the start. Sorry, is that? Yeah, 2-0, because the last match didn't count. Uh, we already got people trying to start commotion here. I tell you, it's got to be 2-1. <laughs> uh, it confused me because I forgot we did the reset, and I, sometimes when I can't keep up with the score, I just check the King of the Hill score real quick, and it said 2-1, so I was like, oh, wait. But then it hit me. Then I'm a stupid idiot. Jeez, bro. When are you going to stop being such a stupid idiot? I was thinking maybe around next week. I'll just give it a rest. Dark cotton All right, here we go. Into game three now. Destroyer Bandinos could like potentially water. deliver us our first 3-0 of the night. Let's see. I mean, that from happening. yeah, I was going to say, man, I think it's going to be very difficult for Mari to catch a 3-0 here. The kid is very ambitious, and he's got one hell of a Kenshi. Oh, my God, the spacing on that was just a little off. Gonna allow Bandinos to catch him with the Ice Ice Baby. Gonna put him in the hard to block setup. That's gonna blow up the armor. This is not looking too pretty right now for your boy Maurice. 
Flawless start so far for Bandino's Destroyer. A flawless for her. This is huge for Mari now. Gonna get 45% off that. One more combo like that. And that life lead from Bandino is completely erased. A low connected, but he didn't follow up on it. Using the charge and the meteor. Good keep away game here from Bandino. Is the meteor strike? That was sick. The next this is match point now. Oh, up. good up block. No punish though. Four for the jump in. Bandino's looking like he's just getting away with everything here. Mari. Gonna have to get it together right here, right now, Caboose. Oh, what a pickup! Oh, he no. dropped the combo! Did they nerf Sento's like drops. combo potential too or something? I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know. We've been seeing now two Kenshi's in a row, not able to consistently land his combo. But flawless block actually for Bandito's, but he gets caught by the overhead. That's tied up on the rounds now. Bari has the potential to not let this be an easy 3-0 for Bandinos. Why not? I mean, he hasn't made it easy no matter what, but trying to avoid that 3-0 altogether, Destroyer. Oh, the low. The low will connect. Oh, man, Bari looking for that hard. spacing, but what a setup there from Bandinos. Okay, good throw. You know, this guy Whoa. is the reign of Mortal Kombat. You're right. You're absolutely right. Ban Bandino's is another top one in my list that can win the whole thing. I mean, it's a wild card character, too. You do not see a ton of reign in Champion of the Rums unless it's from Bandino's. He's a character loyalist. He plays this character so well. Oh! 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 He's gonna break her. He still has a chance. Spell the end for Mari. He's gonna use the ice armor, gets the sweep, tried to cross up there, gets the throw, the tech oh actually God. for Bandino's and the meteor strikes are inbound. There's the ice armor once again. OG Mari trying to survive, hanging on by a thread. A thread destroyer. It's not gonna be enough to chip. Oh my goodness, Mari backing up, uses the ice armor again. I can't he watch this. He, he can't even get a fatal blow right now. He needs to force the breaker, he needs to force it now. He's gonna break There her. it is. 10 seconds! There's the shoulder charge wow. from Bandino closing out the set. That's a 3-0 and he's gonna call Krampus. Brother, what did we just witness here? He tried to go with the jump in at the very end, almost had something going and Bandino's is going to be taking it. Mamma Mia, Pizzeria. Pizzeria. Listen, I'm gonna take you to fathurst.com. I got something real special for you. Yo, yo, uh, get wrecked and pulse. Did you guys play your match yet? Did they? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, let me you know. Your match. Let me know what's up with get wrecked and pulse. But my goodness, man, even though that was a 3 0, that match went down to the absolute wire. Again, no doubt. A message to the competitors we are going to be running all losers round one matches off stream. That yes. way, we're not here for seven hours. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, is King Gambler's PSN King Gambler 18? It's uh, King Zombat. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Um, so, wow, our losers round one is set, Caboose. We got yeah. Get Wrecked versus Pulse. One of those players are going to be percolating 100% after that set. Yeah, and then Mari will be facing off against the loser of the next match here between King Gambler and El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. Also, big shout-outs to all the competitors, you know, um, being around and 
just showing up for their matches we really appreciate yes. it and we really Thanks, appreciate man. the viewers and all the support you guys have been showing champions of the realms it means a ton to us for real and if you think it doesn't mean a lot to us test me uh Marie, yes you will play the loser of this next match coming up here and then once again to anybody in losers round one that is i guess specifically get wrecked and pauls please play your match off stream and let us know who won so we can fill out those scores and we can get this tournament rolling here we go the players are here next match is underway we are speed running through this right now and that's what i love to see we got king gambler too. going up against el kukui it looks like you're getting like zipped up you know, wait, somebody's like yanking you up wait what happened oh you scared me bro i thought my stream was bugging come on man you gotta elaborate yeah you, you yeah you are you are you stupid idiot all right game one underway between king gambler and el kukui both of them rocking characters recently nerfed although again raiden's nerf really didn't seem like much I mean, bro, really, you think these nerfs are going to stop these characters from being disgusting? That's, again, why, like, I do agree with you that it's a, it's not a very strong balance patch because they, they nerfed a whole bunch of stuff, and the only one that seems to to be of major impact is the Kung Cameo. And they didn't really buff much else. Like, I kind of wish that we could see some buffs to characters like Natara and just in general characters that you do not see very often. In, in tournament or just in general combat league online casual play like outside of seeing a slayer that one week for champions around how many people have played shang Tsung on stream you strike a really valid point i mean who do you want to see huh besides these characters you want to see peppa pig i think they should add peppa pig into the game i think it would be a really good idea and shake some things up you know like a lot of people don't really know what peppa pig can do for the mortal kombat franchise I agree. Listen, rumor has it, uh, Farrah is going to be playing like Peppa Pig. But look at this fatal blow. Cashing out on maximum damage. He's hitting all the button uh, notifiers there. 374 on the money. Wow. Oh, Destroyer. Some unfortunate news or just news in general for the losers round one match between Pulse and Get Wrecked. Pulse is reporting in our group chat that he won the set 3-2. Over Get Wreck, yo, Walter White, yo. Wow. Get Wreck, uh, Pulse took it over Get Wreck? That's what Pulse is saying. Well, congratulations to him. Very unfortunate, you know. Get, get Wreck was a player that kind of fought real hard to get a position into this finale, and to see him go out so early, I bet he's screaming at another one for nerfing his character. Very unfortunate indeed, but again, like you said, the good news is every single person in this top eight tonight is going to get paid out. Thanks to the wonderful contributions from you guys, the community, to our match arena. If you'd like to add more to that, hit exclamation point match arena in the chat. Yeah, we really appreciate it, for real. And also, listen, if you want to take it a step further, <laughs> why don't you drop a sub? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just hey, I know there's off. some Prime subbers in the chat. I know you got some Amazon Prime symbols next to your name. Who Use got? your free stuff on, on your homie Destroyer. Who got the Prime sub for me? Who got the Prime sub for me? I need it. Good down four. He's going to back off here. Doesn't want to get too aggressive against a character like Johnny Cage. And real quick, let's just analyze, right? This was actually one of the uh, Brazil top eight finalists here. King Gambler going crazy out there. Yes. You know, shout out to him doing his thing in Brazil. And I just want to kind of evaluate it and kind of examine how he's using this character. You know, now that the pressure has been nerfed to a degree, like what are the routes these Johnny Cage players are going to go for? Especially in, in the stagger game. Are they going to just go for standing one stagger? Not so much st uh, standing one one, you know? Are they going to be farting? Are they going to be, you know, like, what's it going to be? Out of wonder, Destroyer. Oh, man, King Gambler putting on a clinic here in game one, taking it against El Kukui. Yeah, bring it. And he goes, El Kukui, El Kukui. He said, <laughs> yeah, boom. Boom. Get me the boom burger. Yo, you know what movie I was watching the other day, bro, that had me dying? Boom. It was uh, The Expendables 2. Did you see that one? Yo, Expendables 2 is a great movie. With Jean-Claude Van Damme as the villain. He's so good in it, though, no? He's so evil. That and friggin' Chuck Norris. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Some of the Chuck Norris scenes. Get him out of my life, baby. Pretty funny, I don't know. All right, getting right back into the match. We got John Rambo versus Sylvester Stallone. The ultimate battle nobody was waiting for. Oh man, I forgot to turn off the, the transformation. Is there anybody that can refund this guy's uh, 10,000 leche bottles? If y'all could please do me the biggest favor and not spend oh, any yeah, leche bottles. Mod. Yeah, if y'all could not spend leche bottles on the uh, transformation, I'd really appreciate it because I, I forgot that thing wasn't even uh, set up here. So Gateway, my bad, brother. You'll get it, you'll get it one day. But somebody refund him, please. Oh my god, what a whip punish of the ages there. Okay, goes with the down poke. The standing on the forward 4-3 four, into Kano Ball. Yo, look at me right now, Caboose. And tell me where this character got nerfed. Oh no. Honestly, oh look at this. A big fatal blow inbound from King Gambler. This surely is gonna close out the round. Of course, with these last two hits to an insane amount of damage for the fatal. There it is. 40%. Just like that. I think uh I think I refunded the person in the chest point. Yo, I appreciate that. And also, big shout out to everybody dropping the subs. Listen, I'm not the stupid idiot today, all right? It's Caboose, not me. My goodness, Destroyer. 53,000 channel points put on King Gamer for this deck. Are you kidding me right now? 13,000 for El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you shouldn't have voted for him because he's going to lose, not mad at him. <laughs> Out good flawless block there from King Gambler. He's trying to go for the overhead. Such a slow startup though. Good interruption. He's getting caught though. Did my juice make Dolly? Good breaker. Trying to give himself some breathing room. The instant jump three into Thunderfly. Wowzers. How do you make those reads, bro? Just tell me what is going through these players' heads. It's like. Yeah. It's like, my God. Going in a mile a minute. King Gambler. Not a lot of life left. Gets caught by the Thunderfly. We're tied up. Ooh, Goro plus frame straight into a throw. Simon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, brother. Champions of the Realm Season 2 finale. Oh, no. The Kano cameo kept him safe, but in that instance, it actually allowed him to find an opening. King Gambler getting caught by a 34% combo now. Hitting the back throw. A 34% pipe roll. Moro cameo in there. Oh, beautiful stuff there. From King Gambler with the parry. He's got the star power at the ready destroyer. Oh my god. Underfly into overhead. El Kukui can close this out. Oh no, the whiff! Oh he went my to the god. for a nut punch and it completely whiffed, which allows El Kukui to find an opening, get the huge punch. He wanted the brutality combo. He completely missed it. He's a stupid idiot. Ban him from the tournament. You, you really want me to? Ban him. Ban him right now. You tell him to never come back to this town again. You tell him to throw his PlayStation out the door. Don't, don't let me, don't let me do that. <laughs> you tell him we're going to call Brendan Frazier's the whale. And he's going to swanton bomb this guy's PlayStation 5. He's going to give him the Ron Swanson Mr. Aquaman mustache special. Yes. All right, enough nonsense. Back to the match, you stupid idiot. Let's see how this plays out here. <laughs> We got a 1-1, one, one, we up. got a 1-1 one, one situation right now. You got the Tarkatan hooligans hanging out in the background. Look at the Tarkatan hanging in the steps right now, bro. Just laying, just laying back, watching the show, watching two of the most strongest characters that got slapped on the wrist by Netherrealm for no reason. Okay. He's 
You're gonna hit him with the electrocution. Doubles up on it. 354. Goes with the forward. 4-3 into the throw. Lovely staggers. Get a bit of whip on it. All right. No lie. I want to see the longest wall of whale emotes right now. I want to see the longest wall of whale emotes in the chat right now. Show yeah, Nether Row Studios that we got a lot of whale power here. Patience here right now. Destroyer. King Gambler, though, catching the shadow kick. To the Goro cameo. Elkakui hits the breaker on that last hit. He wanted to avoid the opportunities it would have provided for King Gambler, but he still takes the round regardless. Wow, did he unblock that overhead attempt? My goodness, King Gambler is ridiculous. Yeah, he might have just done that. Here we go. A nice pickup from Gambler. Going to drag him oh. to the corner, but the combo drop. Yo, is it me or these players been having doodle hands all night? Yeah, a little bit. Got a little, a little case of doodle hands, Caboose. Maybe some nerves going on here, Destroyer. Oh, beautiful. King Gambler could have closed it out there. El Kukui was forced to hit the breaker. And now El Kukui, this is the tough position we see time and time again in these matches, Destroyer. He's got to get some hits in. He's got to force that breaker out. And then he's got to close out this round before that timer gets dangerously low. Oh, no, he gets caught by the rising elbow, and that'll be the game. King Gambler now up 2-1. 2-1 to one. <laughs> two to one in a very dominating fashion here. El Kukui might have to pass the controller to his brother right now <laughs> if he wants to stay in the winner's side of this tournament. Imagine he actually does it. I mean, who's gonna know? Uh, who's gonna know? Yo, come here! This bro's running down the hall. Now. El Kukui! El Kukui! <laughs> I can actually see that. And he's got like squeaky slippers. <laughs> Every time he runs, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Why you gotta violate him like that? Why you gotta violate Mr. Squeaky Shoes like that? Okay, I would like to see these players take us to a final game, final round situation. This is the finale. All these matches have to be big. Flawless blocking there. It's not going to be enough, though. El Kukui finds an opening. Nice flawless blocking. King Gambler avoiding a ton of chip damage. Oh, by the way, if... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no, wait, oh mind. no. He just wakes up Fatal with the parry, it and it's going to connect. That might be the round. Wow, wait a minute. And I mean... He last to hit you. So much damage. Yeah, Johnny Cage most it's of the time doesn't enough. have any scaling with that fatal blow. It is incredible damage that he's My able goodness, to dish out. Destroyer, this is so close! Oh. A Thunderfly. Alright, here we go. El Kukui. Looking to tie things up. El Kukui. Jimmy to get the whiff punish destroyer. Good projectile. He's gonna back off here. Tries to tag him with the down four. Wow, what a forward three! No crushing the poke that El Kukui went for. That's gonna be bad news, Bears. The patience, the respect. These players just kind of staring each other down right now. The down ones, he tries to get the Goro going. Good breaker here from El Kukui. Oh, that was sick. Did he try to actually combo oh that? Goodness. I think he did. Projectile. I mean, this is the perfect play for El Kukui. Just run away. Try to get a life lead. Put himself a couple more touches away from death here. Man, the defense from El Kukui. He's going to get opened up. 
This could be Gambler's chance to put himself in a match point situation here. Whoa! What was that? I don't even know what to say right now. Destroyer, it's so intense. Just don't say anything. These, these competitors just know they're fully aware every single hit, every hit on ship, every hit on block. It all counts towards something. And King Gambler unable to connect the Royal Cameo the wrong distance on it, unfortunately, which led to a huge punish for El Sakui, who's now just a couple of hits away from sending us to a Game 5 Destroyer. And there it is. No defensive meter to be able to save you there off the chip damage. We're going to Game 5. Do you uh, do predictions for this match? Uh, someone did. What are the predictions looking like here? I mean, I told you, King Gambler with almost 54,000 channel points put on him. Uh, uh, our channel points certainly don't reflect how close the actual set is. Who told you that? Me. I did. I did. Because the channel points means everything, brother. The channel points is all about the channel points. I did. Me. All right, chat. It's official. Caboose has lost his mind live on stream. Good breaker. He's gonna avoid the Kano knives. Exactly what you need to do against a character like Raiden. You gotta be very ambitious and ready for anything he does. Because the last thing you want is to look away and get smacked by Kano knives full screen into a shake my hand GG's, you stupid idiot. Huh? Why would you say that to me, huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stuff there from King Gambler to take the round destroyer. And now El Kakui is going to hold on to this corner. He's going to get some pressure going. Nice throw. Too slow? Too slow. Good throw. Too slow. Oh, meter burns through with the shadow kick to get that punish off the projectile. And the throw again. And Gambler sending out Kukui all the way to the other side of the stage. A lot of down poking going on here. He's gonna hit him with that, that down one storm cell, that classic. El Kukui, definitely trying to put us into a final game, final round. I wouldn't want it any other way. I was asking for it. Oh no, he got clipped by the Goro. Why do I feel like a fatal blow parry is about to happen? And never mind. There it is. Final game, final round. Wowzers. I want to see nonstop Wowzers in the chat. Oh, he catches the end of that 4-4 four, four string. Oh, gets caught by the 4-3. The drop, though, from Whoa. King Gambler. A good punish for El Kukui. Mofa really wants something to happen here. My goodness. Time dwindling down, Destroyer. Oh, Kano. Even El Kukui there. He's going to switch sides. Kick. 
little cameo not there in time. Miss Flawless blocking again from King Gambler, avoiding the chip damage. Oh no! No Wait, cameo what? there to keep him safe! What was that he should, thinking? That should be GG's right there. That's the end! Holy that is cow. the end! King Gambler takes the set! I, I mean, can't believe Elton Quinn just went for the raw thunderfly like that! He betted it all on the raw thunderfly, honestly. Like, right there, bro, it was either raw thunderfly or nothing, which was kind of a, a, a wild play. I don't know what the read was there. Probably go through the armor. But man, what a wild play right there. That's going to be GG's Very Gambler tough. taking it over Popeye the Sailor. GG. That King Gambler will take that set 3-2. to two. He moves on now to face off against Bandino. Is in the loser's side. We got ELG Marie, who's now going to have to face off against El Kukui. And again, we need that match to be played off stream. We now get into our win winner's round two matches destroyer, Hourglass of Rain versus the Mighty Unjust. This one's going to be another really interesting match. I'm very hyped to see how it goes down. I'm very hyped to see how the rest of this top eight goes down with our prize pool at $4,600. Again, Jesus. a big shout out to each and every one of you guys who have donated to the prize pool to make it as hype as it is tonight. You guys have been incredible. Skept them with another spirit bomb tonight with $500. I mean, caboose. We really appreciate it. It's kind of wild when you think about it, bro. The last two tournaments, just this one and the last season finale we did alone, over $10,000 raised for these Insane. players. Insane. Like, wow. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Again, a huge, huge shout out to all of you guys showing the love here tonight. But all right. This next match should be a good one. We got Hourglass in here just waiting on Mighty Unjust. Now, Mighty was asking earlier if Peacemaker was allowed in yes. the tournament. Yes. I would not be surprised if we're expecting to see Mighty Unjust picking Peacemaker coming up here. Now, Peacemaker did catch a bit of a nerf. He's no longer able to loop the Striker cameo or the Kano cameo twice in his gunshot uh, combos. So that was Why like not? honestly was one of the most fun combos in the game. I love doing it. I love the damage that you can get out of it. But I guess I understand like dishing out pretty much half an entire life bar off of one like little whiff punish. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, all right. It's, I think Mighty it, just said he needs another invite. I'm trying it's to go definitely to my a little illy silly. And out. It's definitely a little illy silly. My uh, my PlayStation's bugging out. Actually, wait, hold, hold on. on. Who needs an invite? I can send it. Mighty Unjust need another one all right i got him right now mighty unjust yeah sending the invite right now because your place is a stupid him. idiot yeah i got him again now it finally started working oh yeah. well, did it say can't load something went wrong yeah it was giving me that so what happened did to that me for you too? yeah it did that for yeah, me yeah so, so my playstation's not the stupid idiot now is it you stupid idiot hey that's it Who is this? Hourglass versus the Mighty Blind Baron. How are you gonna ask if Peacemaker is allowed and you don't even yeah, play? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> what are you chickened out? What are you chickened out, you little chicken head? He's doing it, huh? Big Peacemaker, right now before I start screaming to the top of my lungs. You want me to scream more? No, no, that's good. That's enough. He's gonna get the ice armor activated. Oh my god, that was pro that was peak spacing right there from the mighty unjust. Catching this dude with the slightest movement. And he got him. So I heard somebody was gonna play uh, Peacemaker? I'm hoping we see it once tonight. Let's see though. The tech on the throw from Hourglass. Hourglass should be able to close this round out. But he's just not gonna spend the meter. Wait, the fall. Hold on. Attack. Attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, I might have commented first it. Oh my god. Bryce Pack no, really no. just needs to sneeze on him, and there it is. The low no commentator is gonna connect. Stupid idiot. The chat a bunch of stupid idiots for taking this account. You're a bunch of 
stupid idiots. So you see the, uh, the, in, the carved rocks in the background? Those are, uh, that's the chat. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of stupid idiots. They all fell asleep during this match for no reason. <laughs> He said, you know what? I think I'm going to go to sleep right here. <laughs> Good stuff now for Mighty Destroyer. Up in the combo. Again, something that's a common theme with our Kenshi players for the night. Is dropping combos? Yeah. Yo, the legendary Top 7 in the chat. He says, Oye, mira, nene, pero yo quiero comentar. Is that that? Did. Good defense. Oh, Mighty Unjust kind of fighting his way out of this corner. Gonna go for the throw. He's gonna switch sides here. Oh my god, catches him with the ice ice baby deluxe. That's gonna be a Sento sandwich if I've ever seen one. And game number one. Oh no, round number one going to Mighty Unjust. Come on! I got I got carried away. I got carried away. No no, you right. I apologize. I apologize. I got carried away. <laughs> Got him on these rounds here in game one, Destroyer. It's already a healthy back and forth in this first game. <laughs> the ball roll! Oh, and this is gonna hurt now. Here comes Sento. Into the overhead. My goodness, just barely above the ground, too. Did you see that? Did you see that little juggle? My goodness, Mighty Unjust thankfully doesn't drop in that instance and is able to close out the game, taking it over Hourglass of Rain. Okay, game number one. Game number one. And would you look who it is on the screen? Kenshi, yet again. This character is extremely problematic i think right now when you look at this uh roster and the players we have in here why do i feel like bandinos is like the hometown hero here True. May this fight be less and honestly people better not sleep on bandinos he's actually one of the top picks for me personally that can take this tournament and potentially turn into brendan frazier's the whale You're, no, you're absolutely right, though, seriously, about Bandinos. That is a competitor that a lot of people are going to have to watch out for. Patience here. Mighty Unjust with that ice armor. Looking for one crack in the defense. Oh. Hourglass is expecting to jump in. Just went for the up block there. What do you mean he was expecting to jump in? Like it's some type of delivery package or something? Like the delivery, yes. That's what do you mean he's expecting, expecting to jump in? <laughs> Hey, he's expecting to get jumped? What, what, do you, what do you mean by that? I don't know. Oh, nice jump there, actually, for Mighty Unjust. He closes out the round. Yo, I don't know, man. Sometimes I kind of feel like Melina does pretty good against a character like Kenshi, right? She, she's got a lot of tools to kind of work around Sento. And on top of that, she's Melina. The spacing, the patience. Who's going to nudge first? Gotta be extra careful here. Nice flawless block, and then as well, knowing your frame gaps. Guru Gaga, I'm a frame gap. <laughs> oh, he blocks the ball roll. Wow, the very unfortunate position for Alba to reign to be in. As I say that, though, he connects the back throw. Okay. A bit of an advantageous okay. position, actually. Okay. Oh, but Sento interrupts. Are you kidding me? Sento really had enough time to wake up from his slumber and just start. Oh, no, we didn't get hit. Start hitting people. The Mighty Unjust was able to put away Sento so that he wouldn't be locked in the Sento stance without it. The Mighty Pine Barons. 
And now he's gonna have another chance to get sent to well, but no, he misses that opportunity. There's the ice armor. Let me see a one in the chat if anybody wants flesh picks. Now, this is the interesting position right now. Hourglass of Rain is one fatal blow away. One fatal blow away from potentially getting this life lead completely diminished. There is no breaker available for Mighty Unjust. He's gonna have to keep this damage. Is this going to put Hourglass of Rain into the life lead? I think it is. Just barely, I think he does. This is the rest of that string. Three seconds left, and Hourglass wow. is able to close out the round. My goodness. Hourglass of Rain staying alive here, not letting that match go to a 2-0 lead for the Mighty Unjust. I mean, he's being very conservative here for this set. Okay, wait a second. The is gonna be summoned, and the pressure has begun. The last thing you want is to get opened up, but it's near impossible when you got Sento on top of you. It's just free 50-50s non-stop with this character sometimes. Goodness, okay, nice hourglass finds the opening. Great patience on his part. Sento is gone now. But Mighty Unjust is able to get a hit in. This is the ball roll. Off the, the ball, ball hat. The ball saw. Nice punish there off of the whip with the ball roll. Hourglass of Rain though now gonna get whip punished himself, but Mighty Unjust is gonna get Sento out. This could be the beginning of the end, folks. I think you're right. Sento Sandwich is here. I mean... Oh my goodness. Oh my Our goodness. Hourglass needs a miracle. Oh, nice follow block. Did you go for the throw? And there it is. Oh, throw indeed. Mighty Unjust up 2-0 now. Kenshi is so messed up still because the amount of fear that was in Hourglass of Rain's heart right there when he actually took a brief second to pause he thought the throw was coming, right? It looked like he was gonna try to micro duck OS to throw, but then he let the Sento rip. And all hope was lost. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Come on now. Let's not do that, all right? <laughs> what? You know why, you stupid idiot. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. That's what you're talking about? So you said you're Koba. So that, that's, that's what you're talking about, huh? What I want to be talking about right now, though, Destroyer, is the near 40% combo that Hourglass of Rain kicked things off with here in Game 3. Oh, the whiff! Good stuff! Ducking the... Oh, sorry, the high, not the overhead. To get that punish. Hourglass of Rain with a very convincing first round here. Need a bit more of that if he wants to try and get this reverse 3-0. Oh, Off. He's gonna get the ice armor activated here. This is huge. The end of that low strength. Mighty unjust though with the back throw too slow. Good throw too slow. Ice flawless block into the punish. Hourglass of range. Pulling off some beautiful stuff here with this Molina forcing the breaker out of Mighty Unjust. Puts Hourglass in a very good position, Destroyer. Ooh, he went for those low sides. And if Mighty Unjust reacted just a little quicker, he would have been able to get the punish as he had the Ice Armor out. Nicely done, interrupting Sento, then getting the back throw. But his Hourglass of Rain here activates the Cool Out cameo when it connects to deactivate Sento once again. Mighty Unjust decides to get out of the Sento stance. And now Hourglass finds another opening and is able wow. to close this one out. Getting this. To not be another 3-0 again here, destroy beautiful stuff. Our competitors no, for sure. are always in these down but not out positions. I mean, at that point, this was almost necessary. Hourglass of Rain needed to take this game. If not, he would have found himself in the loser side bracket where he was going to be swimming with a pool of sharks. 
This is really good, Go. man. Hourglass of Rain can work with this. You know, the player has been in situations like this since the dawn of time, and if there's any player to be down two to one, it's Hourglass of Rain. What were you going to say? Yo, Marie. Marie, I don't know if you're in the chat, but did you play your match against uh, El Kukui? Because if, if not, you got to do that. Uh, let me know what the score is. He DM me. He said he doesn't want to play his match. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll DQ it. He DM'd me and specifically told me you're a stupid idiot. I believe you. Alright, wow, wow, wubsy. Oh yeah, Chad is pointing out actually Mighty and Just did make a cameo change to Cyrus. On the win? On the, uh, no, on the last, Hourglass won the last time. So you're telling me he switched cameos on one DQ and then? Yeah, alright. I can do that for you. By the way, massive shout outs to everybody that contributed to the prize pool. We are at a whopping $4,615. You know, it blows my mind, man. It blows my mind that we're able to get that type of support. Incredible. That type of support in here, Caboose. It makes me want to go play Helldivers 2 and try out the new mechs they just released. <laughs> oh, here's the fatal blow. That is almost guaranteed the round there for Mighty Unjust. Well, let me let me not, let me not get too far ahead of myself, actually. Hold on. Okay, it's enough. Match point now for Mighty Unjust. Hourglass of Rain survives. Can he get us another game five tonight, Destroyer? I definitely think he can. Things have happened. I definitely think he can do it, you know? Oh, no, that is going to hurt a lot. There's a free 18% for Mighty Unjust. He overhead off the Sento. Another overhead connects. Hourglass of Rain, though, does have the Fatal Blow. Mighty Unjust does not have enough meter to hit a breaker, so Hourglass of Rain still has a chance here. Not out of it yet. Oh, and there's a huge opening. He definitely needed that. Is he going to go for the Fatal? No, he's just going to cash out. Get the setup. Oh, and he went. He went for a Fatal Blow setup. It doesn't work. Wow. And there's Sento, but with the Flawless Block. That's actually kind of huge. Okay, he's going to go for the Breaker. Did he intentionally get hit there? Oh, no. The Sword Talk from full screen. It works again, and Mighty Unjust will close that set out 3-1. Well, valiant effort from Hourglass of Rain nonetheless. He's not out of the tournament just yet. Going to be sent down to the losers by a Demon player, the Mighty Unjust. And again, Caboose, I got to mention this again. Mighty Unjust being the one of the favorites to take this tournament. You know, the player is just percolating with skill. It's a beast. It's scary. A beast. Again, does anybody have a... Or has anybody gotten a hold of ELG Marie or El Kukui? I need to know what their... What the score of that set was. Or he already messaged. It. He told me to stop asking about it. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, then tell him to tell me the scores, and I'll stop asking him about it. All right, stop the music, Spanky Doodle. Let me get Stupid some. Idiot. Let me get something straight with you here, right? This is Champions of the Realms finale, not Champions of the Realms Stupid Idiots edition. So I'm going to need you to get it together. Yeah? Is that how you want to talk to me? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, is that how you want to talk to me? No, no, no. I take it back. I take All it right, back. All right, no, let me. I'm going to call him. I'm gonna call him. Let me ask you something. Where does I'm that call you? You wait for you wait there one sec. Yeah, send them in. Send them in. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy's crazy. Look at this. Look at this dude raging. Look at this raging giant caboose over here, man. Giant Caboose, can you potentially tell me where does that put Hourglass of Rain in the bracket? No.
Holy shoot. Holy you don't shoot. Talk to me like, you don't talk to me like that again or I'll call them back. And it's not going to be pretty next time. You got it. That puts Hourglass of Rain Destroyer awaiting the winner between ELG Marie and El Kakui. You got it. Just waiting again. For those guys to report the, he's got to report the scores, you know. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get them reported. Listen, if there's anybody that's gonna let us know who won, it's gonna be El Kakui, right? Right. I mean, you remember the last incident we had with El Kakui when the player started lagging and he started freaking out, he started screaming at everybody. <laughs> You're right. Yo, he was losing his mind the in the match, chat. The match started that. lagging, and he said, no, 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 that, no. That dude, he, he was said, gonna, we don't got to restart nothing. Just, power bombs. just give me the game. He said, we don't got to restart nothing. Just give me the game. I said, you got it. I said, you got it, buddy. Right. Well, our next match underway, Destroyer, is going to be between King Gambler and Bandinos. This one, I feel like, is going to be a real pivotal one for the tournament. King Gambler, of course, for a lot of people, a favorite to win tonight. Bandinos, a lot of people are rooting for him as well. A wild card to the tournament, playing a character you don't see a whole ton of in Mortal Kombat 1. Competitive play with Rain. So I feel like, yeah, this one is going to be one that uh, is real defining for this top eight. It's going to be really, really important for both these competitors to advance. So let's see who's going to be the one to move on and who's going to be the one to get sent to the loser's bracket. Game one underway, Bandinos. And the one, no, sorry, not the Mighty Unjust, King Game One. <laughs> Just the mighty and just actually is awaiting the winner between these two characters here. Now what it is is too many uh, Johnny Cage's right there now. There are way too many Johnny Cage's. We don't know who's who anymore, man. Yo, Eld with the resub, really appreciate it. And we got a fat raid from Misa. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. All right, El Kukui has finally reported the score. He has won 3-2 over Mari. Oh, no. Okay, that means Mari has been eliminated from the night. El Kukui will advance. Ask him if he let Mighty Good Unjust bit. play. What's that? Ask him if he let the Mighty Unjust play for him. <laughs> yeah, maybe he did. And you said Pulse won over, uh, over Get Wreck, right? Yes, that's right. Did you ask him if he was percolating after he won the set? He said he was fully percolated. Wow. Fight. All right, Bandinos. King Gambler. This is the match to get into winner's final here. Whoever wins this is going to be going up against Mighty Unjust, who's been playing out of his mind, honestly. He out of his mind. He said he lost his mind. Huh? So you're saying he's completely lost his mind. Wait, what did I do to his name? Okay, okay, okay. Good patience. He tries to hit him with the low. Oh, oh my god. Ekin Gambler. Ekin Gambler. Ekin Gambler. <laughs> Dinos. My goodness, canceling the overhead into the throw, and that'll be enough to close out that first game. Man, Dinos, man, this rain play is disgusting, man. He is he's absolutely one of the best of best to ever do it in Mortal Kombat 1. And this rain is disgusting. Destroyer, he's gonna take that first match. It's those cancels, it's the zoning, he's got good keep away, he's got good combos, great setups. He's got there's it a all. Lot, there's a lot packaged in for Rain that I feel like not a lot of people are witnessing or or at least recognizing the potential. He's got it all. He's got everything going for him. And on top of that, if you look real closely, Caboose, I'm talking look real closely at him. He's got barbecue boneless beverage with pork fried rice stuck right in between his teeth. You know what he doesn't have, though? Some classic skins, man. <laughs> Nether Realm. No, hold up. Just the other day, I was thinking about it, bro. Where's the classic Scorpion? Where's the classic Sub-Zero? And I'm not talking the MK3 Sub-Zero light. Uh, well, you're talking about like what they look like in their cameos. Uh, listen, I'm not talking about MK3 Sub-Zero light, all right? Yeah. 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 
Chandler with quite the life lead here, but let's see if Bandinos can find a way to make this comeback. Oh my goodness. Go for the back throw. Is the Katana lift. I just realized actually he's using the Chameleon Cameo gets caught by the throw. You say the Chameleon Camel? Chameleon Camel. Just backing away here. There it is. Melina with the ball song. Oh, just wake up. Did the wake up with the parry attempt, but it's not going to connect. Bandino will maintain the corner pressure, catches the day cameo. That'll be the round. Yo, Bandino's looking strong. And, you know, that's the beauty. Like, players that have kind of been die hard with certain characters, Rain, for example. Look at this, Caboose. You got the whole roster catching nerfs, and then yeah. you got this menace to society here just going crazy. You know, it's insane, too. After playing a whole bunch of Combat League when I was trying to rank up with Peacemaker, what I noticed is, man, it is incredibly tough playing against somebody who's using a cameo because you got to pay attention to their cameo rotation. You got to watch out. If that Molina cameo is ready, you better, you, you bet your butt that they're going to pop the Molina ball roll just like that YOLO on you. The, the Tony Molina or Tony Serino? Tony Molina and the Tony Serino. Wow, Bandino is looking to go up two games to zero man. right now. And the uh, Chameleon cameo catching him big slipping. Going to put him into the toilet flush. Wow, wow, wubsy caboose. We are witnessing history in the making here. Yeah, beautiful stuff. King Gambler is now in a really tough spot. Bandino up 2-0 in the set, Destroyer. I'm going to go ahead and say it. You're a stupid idiot. Oh, is that what... You didn't want me to say that? Why'd you call me that? My fault, my fault. Why'd you call me that for? Why'd I call you that for? You so you want to give me that, you know? Yeah. Disgusting. My goodness. Bandinos is just on a tear. This dude is on a mission destroyer. We're trying to go for the ball roll. And it doesn't work. King Gambler pops the fatal blow. This is a huge investment. Resources pumped into this. He's got to hope he can close out this round, Destroyer. Otherwise, it will be devastating for King Gambler. 50% off the Fatal Blow combo. Oh, no. Oh, the ball roll. Oh, my goodness. Bandino steals the round away from King Gambler. And look at him just hop, skip, jumping off his little water bubble. Stupid idiot, right? I hate him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't hate him. Look at oh, his man. overhead. Bandino is on a tear. Let me guess, you want this character to get nerfed too? Oh, seriously? This character is one of the most fun ones to watch. At high level play in Mortal Kombat 1. Bandino's been working on a flawless round up until this moment now where King Gambler has finally been able to get a hit in. Follows up with the jump in. Pushing King Gambler, sorry, pushing Bandino all the way to the other side. He's gonna get the hit stun and he activates the star power. This could be huge. Oh no. I'm not I'm not I'm not fixing this one until we get 10 gifted subs. The wow. throw and there's the brutality. Once again, Bandinos takes the set 3-0. Oh.
Damn it. Wow. Do you think that Brave. was a serious case of Johnny nerfs or? I don't think so. I think this is more so a case of uh, Bandino's determination to take this tournament, man. I mean, that was what a showing. What a showing. King Gambler now gets sent to the loser side. He's going to face off against Pulse. Our glass of rain will also be facing off against El Kukui. We're going to get to those matches here in just a moment. My goodness, Destroyer. It has already been a ridiculous top eight so far. We still have so much action up ahead. Are you hyped? How Not you feeling? Really. I'm actually getting ready to uh, go to sleep. Yeah, why don't we just... We can just call it. What do you think? You want to call it there? What Chat. You, yeah. Chat, what do you say? We call it right there and we pick this up I think, tomorrow? I think we can call it. I think we can... We'll pick this up. Let's just say, like, in, like, four months. How about that? You guys want to continue this tournament uh, in four months when Netherrealm starts getting this shit? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this right. girl. Let's now get into our losers bracket. We got King Gambler. We got Pulse up next. Oh man, Destroyer. I'm scared. I'm scared. Now that we go back into the losers bracket, this starts getting to the point where these competitors are going to be eliminated from the tournament. You hate to see that considering how many incredible competitors are still left. King Gambler, Pulse, Hourglass, and El Kukui. But right now, that winner's finals between Mighty Unjust and Bandinos. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a real crispy and real juicy if I do say oh, so. Oh, for much. sure. No. And real quick, you want to go over those uh, prize pool breakdowns again for these players? So far, we got yes. almost five thousand dollars in this prize pool. Last season, I think we ended up hitting like what eight thousand, or am I go? Am I pushing it? The prize pool was upwards of eight thousand dollars for season one, which is insane. But okay, to give you guys the breakdown, first place for Champions of the Realms tonight will get fifty percent of our prize pool. Second place will get twenty percent. Third place gets thirteen percent. Fourth place gets 7%, then tied for fifth gets three, and then tied for seventh gets 2% of the prize pool. And again, our prize pool right now is at $4,615. If you guys would like to add more before this night ends, just hit exclamation point match Reno in the chat. You can add even more to that prize pool, create some even more hype for these competitors, and as well, allow everybody in our top eight to get paid out just a little bit extra. But okay, I see King Gambler in here. I'm waiting for Pulse. Yeah, also, I want to mention, um, you know, thank you so much, everybody watching the stream. We have about 800 plus viewers in this uh, in this tournament right now. And I want to say, man, you know, spread the word. Let's try to break a thousand. This is the MK community right here. This tournament is for the community, made by the community. That's and right. we truly appreciate all the love and support. We really do. All right, Caboose, this bracket is getting really juicy, right, Dolly? Very uh, crispy, very doughy, very juicy, very doughy. I mean, look at this. The Mighty Young Just versus Bandinos in the winner's final. We got King Gambler versus Pulse, which I believe is not coming next. Which one are you putting us next in? Uh, I put King Gambler and Pulse. King Gambler's in here. Oh, Should Gambler's be... asking, or one of them are asking if they're up on the uh, Twitter. On the Twitter DMs. Oh, were they? Yeah, uh, check, check who's the, asking. Check no, the... it shouldn't be. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that I got a flux capacitator in the background. Let me tell you, that's not a flux capacitor. You want to know what that is in the background? Is that Pipo Shibitum? That right there is not, that's not a, which one? That? That, the, the little symbol right there? Or are you talking about the router over there? Because if you call it a flux capacitor one more time, so God help me, I'm going to jump through the TV screen like Blue's Clues and I'm going to start swinging. I'm going to start swinging. Man. All right, the are in here. I think we got ourselves this sort of Johnny Gator. Oh, God. Johnny Gator. I, thought they I thought they nerfed this character. <laughs> what happened? I know. I know. I thought we were going to see a whole lot less. I thought they nerfed this character. What happened? Johnny Goro. Well, here we go. Jo well, this is not a Johnny Mirror. Actually, it's Johnny Cage versus Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's me. Boom. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, yeah. Kick it. Boom. All right, who's who? All right, Gambler is the Johnny with the red. And Pulse is the... Jean-Claude oh. Van Damme. Boom, Burger. Boo, somebody in the chat is asking, why do I have a flux capacitor? And you know I told them what would happen if they ask again. Oh, 
nicely done there. Team Gambler with that overhead pulse. Battle back here. Oh, he just goes with a quick hit confirm into the fatal blow. That certainly should be enough, Destroyer. You think Pulse starts percolating here? Oh, I think he's fully percolated at this very moment in time. Wait. Okay, it's enough. Dude, the camera blocks the health bar sometimes, and it's like, yo, I need to know. I need that information. Yeah. You have to be anticipating if the round ended or not. It's kind of a troll of, of, of its own, right? Like, well, Johnny I, mean, I think Cage. it's especially tough for the players because they should, they need the information more than anyone. Like, did I lose the round or not? Should I be ready for, like, like wake-up options here? 100%. The back and forth from Gambler and Pulse is insane right now. Pulse going to go for the throw. Oh, kind of staggers everything there. It is the opening from Gambler. Yo, isn't it wild, chat and caboose, that everybody in this tournament, in this bracket, had to win an entire qualifier to be here? Seriously. Everyone in this tournament is a first place killer. Pretty wild Gambler when you think about it. Round. That ain't juicy when you think about it. No even. Throw. That's gonna do some extra damage. Oh, Katana just interrupting King Gambler's game plan there. But King Gambler, nevertheless, advances forward. 35% off that combo. Try to catch the throw. Gets pop as a cross up. And Pulse closes this game out. Beautiful combo in the corner that says, Yeah, yeah, yeah kick it. Food. Boom. I'm gonna go get Boom Barger. My name is Jean Claude Van Damme. Boom. Oh, this is actually an alternative cameo that a lot Boom. of people are kind of falling back to, right? Chameleon, Boom. hot topic right now for Mortal Kombat yeah. 1, especially yeah. with the most recent balance patch. You know, you look at some characters like Omni Man, some characters like Johnny Cage, just a lot of characters that were synergizing really well with Kung Lao cameo. Chameleon actually fills in that gap pretty, pretty juicy with juicy with Dolly. I mean, she's a she's such a solid cameo. Definitely one of the best in the entire game. And again, like I said, when I'm playing online and I'm playing against somebody that has a chameleon cameo, it's kind of a nightmare, man, because you really do have to pay attention to their cameo. You got to pay attention to which version of it it is that's coming your way. Because those Molina Ballroom, man, they'll catch you off guard. Not to mention situations like that, where Pulse is able to use the Katana Lift to get an extension where he normally wouldn't be able to. Mm. Mm. Right there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My bad. Party? Mm. All right, we got a Boom Burger special in the right, left side of the screen here. He's gonna go with the standing 4-4, try to get a crazy Goro combo there, but dropped it. Gambler, trying to channel his inner Jean-Claude Van Damme. That's so dirty. The down one into the rising star uppercut with the Goro backup. I still think till this day, that is one of the most dangerous tactics in Mortal Kombat 1. You basically turn your down one poke into something you really gotta fear. Oh, he didn't quite go for the punish there. Oh, but there it is. Pulse is gonna get one himself. Is he gonna hit it with a boom burger? Oh, that's a boom burger right there. What? Boom. so interesting watching two Johnnies face up against each other. I mean, both of them relatively have the same game plan when they're going up against each other. You want to do the same sort of things, apply the same sort of pressure. King Gambler right now holding on to this corner. Pulse trying to hit the parry. Getting kicked in the shins. And that's the round. Okay, okay, okay. Gambler. See what he can do here. There it is. He's gonna get an opening. He's gonna get an opening. The jump too. Continues the combo looking real what juicy. A combo. 
Oh, he's trying to go for the throw. He's going to get parried by it. The gambler now, which just sides and gets the corner. This is how he won the last round. But again here. So, so safe. This, this is how he won the lottery. This is how he won the lottery. Oh, look at both of them really utilizing the parry here. Trying to make the right reads. Our power four, both of them at the ready. Our power activated now by Pulse. Extra careful here. There's that parry once again. King Gambler is going to go into the oh, fatal blow to avoid the breaker. This shouldn't kill, but it's going to hurt. Oh, bro, easily we're looking at about 40 damage here. 40 plus. Down. Over 40 for sure. Over 9,000 damage. And like I said, 38%. That's exactly what I called it on. Right on the money. Easily. Oh, the back throw. That'll be the game. King Gambler trying to set up. All right, Gambler, Pulse, kind of going head-to-head -head here. This is legit a mirror match like none other. Champions of Rome finale. A lot of money on the line for these matches here. These players are, are, are fighting for their spot into that top four right now. My goodness. They are fighting, but are they farting? Uh, let me go take a smell real quick. Be right back. All right, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. They are farting. <laughs> it's confirmed. These guys are indeed farting very violently. Artie Vasquez strikes again. You smell that? Is that what the rock is cooking? That's what Gambler and Pauls are cooking during this first uh, first of three here. Okay, good pickup. You gonna hit with the forward one two. Man, betting a lot on that overhead. The recovery on it is super quick. Able to catch a down one right after. Oh, the forward three connects. Oh, wait, what? The he nerves, jumped up and then didn't know what side he was on. It's the nerves, Kaboos. I'm telling you, these players are freaking out right now. He said, <laughs> yeah, kick it. Bull points. I sweep. Oh, Pulse is trying to get the whip punish. Into the throw. It's so close, Destroyer. <laughs> Nani. And the chip damage. Very unfortunate. And Gambler was able to secure that first round. See, bro, Goro is a problem. You got to be careful with that cameo, especially now that some of the other cameos got nerfed. Goro ain't looking half bad, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. Goro ain't looking half bad, Chad. Drops it, but nevertheless, he finds the follow-up pulse now with this flawless round here so far. Erasing almost 80% of King Gambler's life bar. Chad, okay. Gets top by one. King Gambler now with the corner. He drops that nut punch. Leading to the end of the round. Pulse tying it up. Are you ready? So he's a nutty professor, basically, is what you're telling me. Oh, so, yeah. Nice parry. Breaker. Okay. The momentum has definitely shifted here, Caboose Gambler now. On the ropes. Pulse goes for the throw. Juicy combos all around. Big juicy big bow. Big juicy. Big bow. Oh, he activates the star power destroyer. Look at the three shadow kicks. Try to use the katana lift to get to the other side. There's the parry. Oh no, a parry right back at says King Gambler into wow, the fatal blow. Pulse has the breaker though. Whoops, go for it. Was his cameo on cooldown? No. I think the cameo was on Pipo. Was it on cooldown? Why didn't he go for the breaker? I think it was on Pipo. 
Where's the breaker? There it is. Oh my goodness. I was about to say, bro. Twice in a row, you're just gonna let this escape? No, he Are dropped you it. Kidding me? Did you he know? go for throw? Okay, hold on. We need confirmation. Was his uh, breaker on a cooldown? Because if he really risked that fatal blow damage for a potential to make a comeback there. With the that that being the final round, I don't think that was a good call. Caboose. I don't think the, the cameo was on cooldown, man. When I looked was at it, or was it not? I need confirmation. When I looked at it back on the stream, it looked like it was available. The breaker was available. Wait, that's two one gambler. That is two one. Yes, King Gambler. All right, my bad. That is so unfortunate, Destroyer. He caught the Jade cameo with the glaives. But he didn't expect for it to hit on its way back. So he goes for a throw and it completely whips. That led to the end of the game. King Gambler was able to take it. But again, I think the beginning of the end really was Pulse allowing King Gambler that fatal blow. Nice side switch here from Pulse. Unfazed. Into that last game. Go for the overhead. Gambler with the block. Pulse landing the Jade cameo again on its way back. No. I feel like he's got to pay a bit more attention now. Definitely cannot just play on autopilot here. Look at these parries, Destroyer. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, the missile hurt big time. Pulse is going to hit the breaker. Just narrowly avoided the overhead, but got caught by the Goro cameo. Gets out of there. There's a chance here. He's gonna crystallize himself. Emma Frost over here playing X-Men. Wow. The patience nice is sweeping. surreal right now. Oh no, but the throw will connect. And King Gambler just narrowly taking the round. Match point now for King Gambler. I mean, this is truly a testament for who really does know that uh, Johnny Cage matchup better, right? No doubt. Okay, the standing 2-1-2, two, two, dragging him to the left side of the screen here. Nut punch, boys. Oh, he just tries to float out of there with the uh, katana. Oh, he wanted a parry, and it doesn't work. If I low, we'll shut down your parry attempt with Johnny Cage. There's a meter burn shadow kick from King Gambler. Th this is low-key champions of the Johnny Cage, by the way. I think so. Bandino's already, but I don't think... Pulse will be able to get it out. That'll be the end. King Gambler has eliminated Pulse yeah. from oh, the man. tournament and advances. Wow, wow, Wubsy. I mean, Pulse, valiant effort. You know, the dude definitely worked his butt off to get into this finale. So big shout out to the homie Pulse pulling up and really giving us some awesome games to watch, you know? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Pulse has such an impressive Johnny Cage. It was a valiant effort, like you said. At the end of the day, though, King Gambler moves on, stays alive here in this loser's bracket. And now up next, Destroyer, we got El Kukui against the Hourglass of Rain. Oh, wait a second. Is this... Is this the uh, winner's final already? No, no, no. This is still loser's. The losers round two. Oh, that's right. right, right, right. Hourglass of Rain versus Zoka Koi. All right, all right. Yes. Our winners' finals is Mighty Unjust and Bandinos. My bad, my bad. Well, crazy tournament so far. Only one of these players are going to be crowned the champion of the realms for season two. So a lot, a lot of action left oh, ahead did, here. I, I think El Kukui wanted uh, to invite us. He just sent us an invite. He wants to take a break? <laughs> no. Well, tell him we can take a break after this match. All right, but man, send us I'm not joining. Oh, okay. Don't join then, stupid. But man, take a look at this path so far, man. Gambler securing a spot in the loser semis where he's going to have to face off against Hourglass of Rain or El Kukui. Sheesh! Yeah, seriously, you can say that again, Sheesh! Destroyer. I do not envy the path that King Gambler is on right now. And I do not, I also don't envy either Hourglass or El Kukui because King Gambler, the dude's on a mission. He is on a mission. I have to get whoa, sent whoa, to the whoa, losers. I'm sorry, I got to stop you right there. I got to stop you right there. Somebody in the what? chat just asked, chat, is the whale really that good? Whoa. whoa. 
I mean, should we ban him or? I think I think we should ban him, and I, I think we should call the cops. <laughs> All right, game one underway, Destroyer El Kukui against Hourglass of Rain, and once again we are in our losers bracket. All these competitors in such a tough position. I mean, listen, I think it's already, I think it's already written in stone in this chat. You gotta be careful with some of the things you ask, all right? All right, we're getting right back into this. He's trying to go with the staggers. Yo, I see the Whoa. homie Alex in the chat. Starting the Whale Brigade. That's what I like to see. You know what? Let's get some exclamation points, stupid idiot in the chat. Hey. Sorry, hey. sorry. Hey. All right, Elka Queen kind of having a, a rough start here. I mean, I don't even know what's the point of trying anymore, Caboose, when you can just pass the controller to your brother. <laughs> you know that meme? <laughs> what's that? What's that gifted? That meme that used to go around? They're gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. No, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna How know. How are they gonna know? Roadblast with that first round. Oh, the micro duck. He's just getting caught by a whole bunch of ninja stars here. There's the DDT. Dude, playing against uh, Raiko with Peacemaker is like, it's, it's like so peaceful, you know? I just activate my force field, and this guy's entire full game, or full screen game plan is the put. I mean, he kind of does that to every single character that has a projectile. Pretty much. But especially with, with Raikou, man. Every time I face a Raikou, it's like a breeze. Matter of fact, get me in there. I'm going to go on AFK. I'm going to play. I'm gonna play. You want to play? Get me in there. Got the ball roll. Ball block. Second, the down poke into the staggers. Okukui getting real aggressive here. A little stare down for a split second with Brad's pack. I want to know, man. I really want to know. Where does that name Brad's pack originate? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> you know, oh, the overhead whoever, wins up, whoever ends up winning this caboose, I'm going to try to get him an uh, interview. We got to try to get him on the mic. Post finals interview, you down? Yeah. Nice overhead. Oh, good flawless block. He tries to teleport. Oh my god, he's flawless blocking the hourglass Whoa. out of his mind, but he's not able to survive. <laughs> All right, El Kukui going to be taking game number one over Hourglass of Rain, a.k.a. Brass Pack, a.k.a. Baby Fat, a.k.a. Kaki Kaki Pippi Land. El Kukui said, I don't want to be that guy, but he's lagging. All right, you need to get a ping check. Stop the music, stop the music, stop the music, stop the music. So, you want us to try hosting again? Yeah, what do you want us to do, El Kukui? Yo, you, you... Alex with the five... All right, sorry. Thank you so much, Alex. Hourglass, he says his connection always spikes. Wow. I mean, so why everybody allows him to compete? If he's over here, Spike Lee... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because I really don't want to DQ anybody this this late into the game. You know, it's 1-0, Hourglass of Rain. Uh, do you you want him to see, maybe maybe reset the connection, we take a quick break? Well, what are we going to do here? Hourglass of Rain. Can we get in contact with Hourglass of Rain? And can we get a ping check? Yeah, I'm not sure what we even do here. El Kukui's hosting the King of the Hill. Like, 
All right, hold on. I'm not, I'm not noticing. Just like, I didn't, I didn't particularly notice myself any so significant lagging. Between you and El Kukui, I have full bars. Well, you just dropped one. You're fluctuating up and down. Brad's pack has three bars, but I'm guessing that's because of the region they're in. I'm not quite sure. Where what, is Brad's pack? Um, Brad's pack West might Coast? be West Coast. Brad's pack might be West Coast. Okay. Yo, y'all wanna, y'all wanna reset the, the King of the Hill? What are we gonna do? Before we get into this match. Can, can we get in contact with them? Because I don't want these guys to like make this a big El deal. El Kukuri's in the chat. I don't know where he went. <laughs> you want to try to message him real quick? He said, just run it. Okay. He said, it's fine. Just run it. I was, I was listening. I was ready to, I was ready to take a break and let them reset their internet connection. When you surrender, because you know there, there isn't too much in our hands when it comes to this type of stuff in an online tournament. If there was some way I can like snap my fingers and get rid of lag spikes, I would in a heartbeat. You know. Spanky, do it one that back. No, no, the other song, Spanky. Yeah, that's my jam right there. Yo, Spanky, turn that up to 100. I'm twerking right now, Caboose. I'm twerking right now to this song. I'm trying to keep an eye on the ping right now. Steady 80 for hours left. All right, Spanky, dude, that's a little too loud. Keep going, Spanky, dude. Spanky, it's a little too loud. Can we, get a, can we, get, can we lower it? Yeah, turn it down. My goodness. The low poke into the meat of her ninja stars to close out the round. Insane chip damage. Yo, the boost. What's up? El Kukui just sent me a message. He said, if you don't make this tournament exactly how I want it, the way I want it, with the perfect ping, he said he's not going to play anymore. Are you serious right now? I think so. Why would he say you know that what? to me? Why don't we just ban him? My goodness, Hourglass is popping off Destroyer. Incredible stuff here. You see any lag spikes? I've been trying to look at the ping, and I still see the hourglass at 80. Oh my god, the up block! I'm scared. A couple of meter for ninja stars. I just got my fingers crossed. I'm, I'm just hoping for no lag spikes. You got your fingers crossed? Are you checking out the thing? <laughs> Is that what I said? Nah, I don't think you said fingers. I'm just, I'm just being a stupid idiot. All right. Buddy. You think I'm gullible? You think anything I think you said, I'm going to think you said it? <laughs> <laughs> nice breaker there from Hourglass. All right, that's not going to count El Kukui out of this just yet. One more confirm it's a fatal. Could be very big. Oh, and there it is. Beautiful stuff from Hourglass of Rain. Time to set up one to one. All right, I'm actually very scared. I'm scared too. I'm scared. Who's gonna start yelling at us? What's the heal? What's the status? He's gonna start yelling at us. I mean, no, seriously, listen. There's a lot of money on the line here. So if I don't know, what was that? Was that better? It looks like they're they're fighting good. Honestly, this connection looks better than PC. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything from any of the competitors in the chat. I'm assuming they're just going to run it. Okay, they're running it. So you said you want to go play Helldivers and, hey, try and all test I'm out. Saying is, all I'm saying is, just let it be known. We're offering up every opportunity for these competitors that they want us to host. If they wanted Hourglass to reset his internet, we're not just uh, we're not just putting the the situation here that like El is in part of the connection, and saying, "Oh, well, tough luck," you know, like like just said, there's a lot of money on the line, so we want to make sure all the players, all the competitors are comfortable. But if El 
is just gonna rock with it, then just gonna rock with it. I've been trying to keep an eye on the ping. I'm seeing Hourglass at like a steady 85. I haven't seen it spike up much higher than that. So I think it's okay, but then again, I don't know what the competitors are feeling with their hands on the, on the controller. So it's just the unfortunate unpredictability of running an online tournament. The king of the hill, the servers sometimes are a little wonky. But so far, I mean, El Kui's doing all right here. He's got a game on the board. Just took that round here now in game three, Destroyer. We're tied up on the set, but it certainly doesn't look one-sided one way or the other. Oh boy, my friend, you are very wrong. <laughs> Gonna set up the low hat. The down four. That's gonna be a beautiful opener here for Bryce Pack. Oh yeah, that is him with another ball roll. Looking to tie up the rounds here. Going with his classic Fruity Loops kicks. Okay, was hoping for the slide to connect and it didn't work out. Hourglass able to tie up the rounds. Oh, El Kukui trying to toss some ninja stars. Hourglass punishes with the ball roll. It's a throw now. All right. Another ball roll. This is going to hurt. Sets up the hat. Nice yeah. with the crisscross applesauce. This definitely could be it. Wait a second. Hourglass there it is. Oh sweep. my god. Hourglass of rain. That was such critical thinking there at the end. Sets up with the Lao Hat. Instead of going for the overhead, just goes for the sweep off the attempted hard to blockable from El Kukui. And that'll be that. Hourglass now up 2-1 in this set. Man, people are really in the chat. Listen. What's he thinking? How's he feeling? What do you, do you want? Any adjustments? Do you want people, anything? People are really trying to instigate this too, which is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what? What are they saying? You gonna, you gonna see the chat? I see any Brendan Frazier's in the chat. Who? <laughs> Who? Alex in the chat said any Brendan Frazier's in the chat. And there's quite a few Brendan Frazier's the way. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you want Brendan Frazier's? Yo, Frages? Mr. Aquaman with the raid. Yo, Aquaman, thank you so much, brother. Really appreciate that. Mr. Aquaman, how much I gotta pay you to get you inside this tournament? Huh? Yeah, yo, I remember when Mr. Aquaman used to compete for MK11 with that Koto Khan. Yo, speaking of competing, isn't tomorrow the the next uh, qualifier for NA, NA East? Oh, is it? I don't know. I think so, but I'm signed up for it. So if it is tomorrow, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing. <laughs> you, you of all people should remember that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not that invested into it. Okay, yeah, East and West is tomorrow. So, Caboose, you signing up? Yeah, yeah. Tries to go for the jump in. He's gonna eat an overhead as soon as he lands. El Kukui getting started with the ninja stars. Wait a second. A lot of sadness happening here. Ooh, dude, that for a second it looked like it didn't even connect. Do you see the range on those legs? Nice jump in from Hourglass of Rain Destroyer. Getting alive here. El Kukui trying to send it to a game five. Catches oh. the beat of her ninja. Oh no! That's he a gets it. There's the punish, a punish on the ball roll. We're going to game five. DDT from hell incoming. Dude, what is it with these godlike players making the most ballsiest decisions uh, reads ever? This dude I don't know. tried to ball row twice and it bit him in the butt for it, bro. Seriously, that was a very risky attempt from Hourglass of Rain and it led to El Kukui closing it out and getting us to the game five situation. And now this being on the loser's side to Destroyer, man, oh man. This is scary. <laughs> you remind me of Dang It's Wade. I mean, this is gonna get a little doozy, a little twisty, a little He goes, he goes, he goes. 
Man, oh man, this tank is looking good. Yeah, ooh, this man, Joe, this man, beef a little tank right here. Now we work with me. Why is it that seven hours ago Helldivers 2 announced their mechs and I found out just two hours ago? Why is that? Damn. You had all that time to jump in there and play with the mechs and now you gotta sit here and commentate the Mortal Kombat 1 tournament. Are you stupid? Sorry, you're turning into the guy. <laughs> nice jump and punish there from Hourglass Destroyer. Ooh, this hurts. Okay, Kermer in the building. This is probably gonna cash out here. Okay, it's not. 430 though, off of that sequence was brutal. Right into the stagger, into the overhead. Elka Queen match point. This is tied two to two. Oh my god, he just kind of telekicked out of nowhere and it worked out. Kind of just backing away here. What's it gonna be? The Shibudin or the Pipo? Oh my god, overhead. Good throw. Elka flew one round away from taking it. Tossing these ninja stars. Hourglass being very patient here. Look, this is all I want, Caboose. What do we got to tell um, Mighty Unjust to convince him to play Peacemaker in, in uh, Winner's Final? Oh, the Micro Duck! Wait. 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 Break from immediately from El Kukui. El Kukui does have the life lead. He doesn't have to overextend anything here. He just needs to run that timer and let Hourglass hang himself. Hourglass almost kind of works to an advantage right now that he got into the Fatal Blow That's territory, but That's that'll easy. be it. He's not going to get the third bar meter in time. El Kukui has eliminated Hourglass of Rain from the tournament. What a finish, Destroyer, to an intense set. Bit of controversy. El Kukui wasn't a big fan of the connection. I think it all worked out by the end of it there. We had it all managed. El Kukui wins it 3-2 to two and moves on now to face off against King Gambler Destroyer. Man, oh man. El Kukui just messaged me. He says he wants to reset the entire match. <laughs> he said it was too laggy. Even though he won, he said he wants to reset the entire match. So Hourglass, you're still in the tournament, bro. Come back. <laughs> Imagine. All right, now, Destroyer, though, we move on to our winner's finals match between the Mighty Unjust and Bandinos. It's going to be a big one, and, I mean, we say it each and every week, and we, I mean it each and every week. That winner's side grand final is the most comfortable position that you can be in in a top eight in a fighting game, right? But now, with so much money on the line, with first place being able to take 50% of our prize pool, Destroyer, you want that winner's side grand finals more than anything. I mean, just to like have a little perspective, what is 50% of our current prize pool right now? So right now, 50% of the prize pool would be $2,300, man. That's, that's insane. And we don't even know if the prize pool can go higher than that before the end of the night. Again, if you'd like to, to get it there, if you'd like to get us maybe even crossing that $5,000 threshold for the prize pool, just hit exclamation point match arena in the chat we got to thank each and every one of you guys who have donated to the prize pool already you guys have been incredible showing an insane amount of support for champions of the realms it really really means the world to us guys thank you thank you thank you thank you also right. massive shout outs to the sponsor of our tournament odin sama you know this hype wouldn't have been built up without odin sama luxury clothing 100%. brand big shout outs to the dude sponsoring our tournament giving a custom uh, merch for each winner Oh, is, this, is this finals? Winner's finals? This is winner's finals oh now. Oh my god. The mighty Justin Bandino's destroyer. You're not even giving me a chance. And they go, they went flesh pits right away. Can they reset this real quick? For a second, I thought they picked it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get into this action. Nah. 
flesh pits twice? I would have been pissed. That would have been wild. Then they would have been trolling. Well, this is a really big determining factor, Caboose, on who can take this entire top eight finale right here, right now. Seriously. We got Bandinos. We got the Mighty Unjust. This is winner's final. Whoever takes this is going to be sitting pretty in grand finals. Winner's side with a three-game cushion. Whoever makes it back up there is going to have to defeat them with. Crazy, crazy stuff. Nice sweep. The overhead now. Mighty Unjust holding on to this corner. I'm telling you right now, Caboose. This is do or die. I I, I mean, I don't want to say it, but I do no, feel it like... Is. This, I this do. is a really pivotal, really, really important match. And I really do believe whoever ends up winning this is going to be like double the chances of winning the entire tournament. Basically. Sorry about that. Alright. Young Storm Cello, Young Chiquello, Young Mighty Just Elo. Going crazy. We're graded. Wow, good reaction. Thunder flies him all the way to the corner. He's gonna lock him down with the Storm Cell again. Into the EX projectile. Came back to good corner pressure here from the mighty unjust. He landed that forward four. Bandino is hitting the breaker immediately. Doesn't get the flawless block. He's gotta get it now. Oh, he doesn't get it the second time. Man, that hit brutal. And that's going to be one game going to the Mighty Unjust here. Looking super strong with this Raiden play, man. He's got the Raiden Kano. He's got the Raiden Chameleon. He's got the Raiden Pipo. Raiden everything. Raiden Pipo. Okay, Bandinos. You're going to be going with a, with a cameo switch? Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Yeah, it looks like it. Scorpion? Scorpion! I've learned from your Scorpion! Scorpion! You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Gotta fight back, Destroyer. And what if he doesn't? <laughs> That's it, I guess he loses. Oh, there's a punish. is key in this match right now. Nice forward four into the storm cell. 20 seconds left on the clock. Two's gonna extend the combo to secure the round. Yo, Mighty Unjust looking very powerful with this Raiden Kano, man. And you know damn well, Kaboots, these players have probably been grinding all the weeks leading up to this very moment right here, especially players like Aguinos who made it into the finale the second week of qualifiers. Actually, as it turns out, I don't know anything. I'm a stupid idiot. All right, chat, exclamation point, stupid idiot. I want to see the biggest wall of exclamation point, stupid idiot hey, 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 right now. That. I want to see the biggest wall of exclamation point, stupid idiot. I want it to go so deep that you guys start spilling into Caboose's chat. As a matter of fact, spill these exclamation point stupid idiots to his YouTube comments as well. 
Matter of fact, Mangino is here with the life beat. Trying to close this out, destroying he's gonna get around on the board, but Mighty Unjust battling back with the Storm Cell. When in doubt, you Storm Cell it out. Oh, he wasn't able to get the double Scorpion cameo combo going. Dropping some Meteors, though. There it is again. Cannot get hit for sure. 20 seconds left on the clock. The meter burns for Marcelo. And there it is. Bandino's calm, cool, and collected. Storm Cello, young Chiquello. Yeah, Bandino's really is playing calm, cool, collective. You know, usually when you got Raiden on top of you like that, breathing all up on your neck, it gets very uncomfortable. And the way Bandino's yeah. is handling this matchup, you hate when people breathe down your neck, right? I would, I, I would really. I wouldn't want Raiden to, Raiden to do that to, to me. Like, come on. I would hate him. Don't, don't do that, Raiden. What? So you want him to breathe down your neck? Hey, hey, I never saw that. Oh, not even a catch and punish from that distance. <laughs> Good down pokes right there from both players, Bofa. He's gonna hit him with the standing two stagger, the throw. Coming in clutch from Bandino's here. Has corner position, he what the overhead, overhead. The Scorpion, but didn't quite get what he was looking for. That is insanity 2.0. And he is getting caught by these charged projectiles. You know, I said earlier in the stream that we have seen so consistently through Champions of the Rounds, people flawless block that charged up projectile from Raiden. Bandinos has not had that same kind of luck. He's gonna go for the Fatal Blow now. He's gonna do a healthy amount of damage with a full stick of butter. Could get interesting, but Mighty and Just is also gonna be able to build three bars of meter as well. Both these competitors gotta be extra careful here. One hit shouldn't do it either way. There's the Storm Cell, 15 seconds left. Bandinos gets caught by the cameo. Oh no, there's Storm Cell again. Oh, with the reversal punish, oh Bandinos is God. able to secure it. And the toilet flush and ended. We're tied up on the set after an intense game two. Oh my God, how is this guy Bandino so clutch? I need to know. I really need to know. Where did Bandino, uh, Bandino stem from? Is this an MK11 player? Like, where, where did this man come from? I swear I never heard of Bandinos up until Mortal Kombat 1. And this dude is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some veterans of the scene. Pepe and Wee Wee in Wee Wee Kaka Pepe Land. I gotta agree. Bandinos is gonna answer back now. And missing out on that double scorpion cameo combo. Drops that you don't usually expect from a competitor of Bandino's caliber. Why? You know why. And like you will know. I told you why last week. Bandinos? Can he make a monumental comeback here? It's possible unless Ooh. a thunderfly comes his way. The only way he got out of that situation is if he smacked him with a flawless block, right? to be 110 damage. Good block, that down two. Get away from me, he says. Get away from here. He's nice, he's done using the armor. 
in. I don't know the story is in nerves. What's going on here with Bandinos? You already know what's going on, and I don't want to say it. Oh, no. He's got a lot of <laughs> junk. He's got doo-doo. He's got doo-doo in his butt, huh? He's got a lot of junk in his trunk. And you know sometimes players can get very uncomfortable when that's the situation, but Bandinos manages to tie up the rounds here one-to-one. -one. If he takes another game on the board, Caboose, that's going to be a 2-1 lead for Rain. Imagine a world where Rain wins a tournament. I'm sure Bandinos has done it before. In a sea of Johnny Cages and Tenchi's, a Rain is the one to take the top eight. That would be quite the storyline. This is a golden child right here, for real. That overhead with the Scorpion cameo misses out, though. Oh, he goes for the Fatal! No. It's gonna punish! No. I mean, he's up there from Bandino. Bro, he's got a lot of work to make this happen. Definitely does. He definitely does. It is a monumental climb. If he wants to try and come back here and win this game, but if there's anyone that's capable, it sure is Bandinos. We're talk on the projectile attempt. That low poke into the storm cell. Good flawless block. He avoided a lot of chip damage there. Destroyer gets caught by the overhead, though. Oh my god. There's another storm cell. Another another block. Great flawless oh block my god, that down poke actually gets him out of the pressure. He okay, he looks very consistently with the flawless, oh. but the forward for the low will connect, and Mighty Unjust goes up 2-1. to one. Oh, that could have been crazy if he had uh, the right timings there. You know, the wild thing about Raiden Kano is... You can literally cancel anything into Storm Cell. So sometimes, you know, when you think you're going to get that flawless block timing down, they would just do a different string into 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 uh, the Storm Cell. And that would definitely make you screw everything up and get opened up by that Storm Cell young Chiquello. Young Storm Cello. Young Leg Switchello. Young Pepe and Kaki. In the Coco Pippin. Oh, wait. wait. Lag? We, we didn't want lag here? What's happening? What happened? When I see players take a little second to pick a character, it makes me feel like it's a pee pee unkaki, you know? Well, I think Bandino's just taking a second, taking a breather, thinking it out. Oh, the Cyrax net. He's a hit stun, and he's gonna go straight for the setup. So hard to block. My goodness, Mighty Unjust and The Mighty Pine Barons? The Mighty Pine Barons just skates by. The throw ooh, into the Cyrax cameo. Now, I remember Bandinos with this Cyrax is very strong. It's very strong. And he made it look like that. That cameo never got nerfed. Oh, boy. One meter after another. Boy, was he wrong. Nice throw, too slow, good throw, too slow. Oh, we gotta get that down one to anti air, did not connect. This puts Mighty Unjust in the Fatal Blow situation. Yes, sir. The, for the flush. Cyrax net. 30 seconds left on the clock, Destroyer. Oh, and the Storm Cell is out. Young Chief Polo, Young Storm breaker. Solo. Bandinos needs to get out of this it, pressure, but that's gonna do breaker. it. No breaker, man. I, fi I figure he just wants to go into this next match with all the meter he can play with, right? UG, but that's a scary situation. He's very close. He certainly had a chance to steal that round. It was like Julius. Oh, he's very snowy and a little bit crispy and a little bit succulent. Very snowy and juicy. And it's just, it's Champions of the Storm style. There's a meter burn projectile. Destroyer, Bantino's in a really, really tough spot here. It's the breaker. Passing up those Cyrax nets, hoping for one of them to connect. Oh, he just gets the overhead. It's an opening. 
The Bandinos has desperately needed here. He goes for the throw and it gets neutral dust. Here comes a big punish from Mighty Unjust. That does, though, put Bandinos in the Fatal Blow territory. You are right about that, Caboose. Good throw. Extended with Cyrax. Yes, sir. The down goes. hit. He's going to get the opener. He has to close this out right here, right now. There it is. Oh, my God. You know this man literally put everything on the line with that chip out. What if he, like, survived the pixel there? Good defense. Hits him with the Cyrax net. That is going to be plus on block. Hits him with another one. Into the whirlwind. Whirlpool. Got a flawless block. Those projectiles are easy. Yeah, pop the bubble. The flawless block. The Cyrax net. And there's the storm cell. Good stuff. Dino's avoiding the chip damage that time. Not on the storm cell, though. He's going to go for the immediate breaker. Not catch the overhead, sadly. We try to get the jump in cross up. It whipped that leads to a punish for the mighty unjust. This is gonna hurt. Into the forward four. Dino's is looking for anything here. Destroyer, just anything. Trying to survive. He backs up, dashes forward. Goes for the jump and it gets up blocked and Mighty Unjust is heading to the Grand Finals on the winner's side. Wow. Wow, I am, I, oh, man. I, I, I'm speechless. Oh man. I'm speechless. I mean, this kind of shakes you things up now. you want to give a speech, bro? Yeah. My speech is that I'm speechless. This really shakes things up now, man. Mighty Unjust going to be getting that grand final spot. Bandinos falling victim to the Storm Cell Kano shenanigans, man. You telling me we just got the, the most latest, greatest balance patch from NetherRealm Studios. And we <laughs> still got this stupid idiot, Rain and Kano, on the top doing what he does best. Storm yeah. selling people out of business. Raiden Kano still at the tippy top. Yo, El Kukui sent Hold us on. the invite already, by the way. That'll be can our you loser. Tell, can you tell him to relax? Hey, he wanted, he wanted us to hurry up. He Who sent the invite? El Kukui. That's it. We're banning. Next up, We're our banning. match destroyer is the loser semi between King Gambler and El Kukui. Now, here's an interesting storyline, okay? I feel like everybody who's left here has something to, not necessarily to prove, but has a storyline. For the rest of this tournament obviously mighty unjust he's now at the tippy top of the pyramid you know he's going to be the guy to beat he's going to be the final boss of the tournament on the winner side of grand finals but then you got bandinos who's looking for the run back in losers finals he awaits the winner between king gambler and el kukui el kukui the brother to one mighty unjust has an opportunity to have the losers run of a lifetime and make it all the way to grand finals to face off against his brother which would be insane and then we also got King Gambler, you know, somebody who you who you see grinding, who you see playing this game day in, day out, practicing constantly, and obviously competing at the highest level here now in Champions of the Realms. And then we have, well, actually, that's it. That's it. There you go. That are four competitors left. Man, it's anybody's tournament still to take. But like I said, on that winner side of Grand Finals, all these competitors are trying to <laughs> trying to dethrone. The mighty unjust. But we still gotta go through the loser's bracket destroyer. And up next, it'll be El Kukui. Look, this is all this is all I'm gonna say. I'm not trying to bash Mortal Kombat or anything, but like seriously, how the hell we just got like possibly the biggest balance patch the game has seen yet, right? Every other balance patch besides this one was just literally like a little nipple twist to a character. But now we got the biggest balance patch yet, right? We, we're feeling it the most. A lot of these cameos do not feel as good as they used to. And you tell, you gonna sit here and tell me they're gonna do what they did to Raiden and just let it rock like that? Huh? All right, El Kukui got the control of the let's be honest. I mean, honestly, who's gonna know? I'm AFK, guy. I'm AFK. Stupid idiot. 
We're both AFK. Starting off very strong here. Both these characters got nerfed, but it looks like nothing in the meta has been shaken up. <laughs> You know, I was real excited for this finale. The fact that Raid and Johnny and uh, all, and the cameos that everyone hates. Yeah, they're all getting affected, but it looks like it really didn't put too much of a dent in any of them. It did it. It did it. Yeah, Maybe cool out, cool. cool out cameo. I think definitely got it the worst. Because people who had like setups and a lot of game plans, they would they would kind of loop with Kung Lao. They can't do that anymore. But Raiden Kano, literally the same character. The the little nerf, the the reduced chip out on Storm Cell that they gave him. I'm just hoping it's bug, because I mean it's laughable what they did here. It's honestly laughable what they did here with with. with, with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. You lost it. King Gambler already got around here. El Kikui, though, battling back. And there's the lows into the storm cells. Jam into the storm cell. I'm sad. No, no peacemaker tonight, man. Nobody wanted to spread some peace across the room. We should honestly ban Mighty Unjust for even mentioning peacemaker to just never pull them out. Like this man said, "Oh, is peacemaker allowed?" Raiden Kano. Stupid idiot. Three gonna connect, hits him with a full juicy combo, dragging him all the way to the other side of the screen. Sets up that forward three. Look at that knee, and there it is—a nice little punish, Humpty Dumpty. Oh, there's the breaker. Oh, for a second there, I didn't even think he was gonna spend the breaker. Oh man, teleports to the other side, gets hit with the Kano ball. You know what's crazy, Caboose? Because like now. With this bout, with this quote-unquote balance patch that Netherrealm put out, I do Bring feel it. like they kind of put themselves in a different, a difficult position because like Raiden is still stupid busted, and if you're gonna be touching cameos and you're gonna be nerfing frames and all that stuff, how about you guys focus on the on the real, the real characters that need to be looked at? You know, Raiden has been carrying people since the game came out. You know what I'm saying? At first, people thought it was just Raiden Cyrax that was a problem, but that's not the problem. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. I'll, nobody wants me to talk about it. I'll leave. I'll leave. No, no, you know what? Let's buff Raiden. Here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Get Good flawless block there. That is pretty much going to be your key to success when you play against Raiden. Flawless block as much as you can, as many times as you can, and especially against that storm cell. And there's the overhead from King Gambler. You might want to update the scores there, no? You don't want to update the scores there? The story is out of here, guys. I'm going to get top tier to the commentator. Matter of fact, let me call it. Oye, mira, nene, pero que tú quieres, mira. Yo necesito el update el scores. Tú quieres yo update el scores? Yeah. Pero mira, yo no necesito... ¿Quién gana? ¿Quién gana la match? Mira, mi nombre es top 7. ¿Quién gana? Mira, nene, pero ¿quién gana? ¿Quién gana el match? You have no idea what, what Top Death is saying, do you? Not even a little. Who won that last match? King Amber. Oh, okay. Alright. Gonna go for the throw. Oh, he tried to go for the Shadow Kick. He's gonna get punished for it. Immediately hits the Breaker. 
That was really good patience from Gambler. I mean, uh... My goodness, look at this on edge. Oh, cool, cool. Gambler, playing it safe, being careful. Throw too slow. And El Kukui just thunder flies out of there. Nice shadow kick to reversal punish. There's the storm cell again. El Kukui has quite the life deficit here. Oh, and it's going to get even worse. King Gambler closing it out. He's up 2 0. Man. <laughs> Bring it. King Gambler going up 2-0 with the Johnny Goro. Yikes. I feel like this is gonna put yeah, Elka Kui. Not a good spot to be in for sure. Oh no, this is this is definitely gonna have Elka Kui thinking about it for a little second here. You know, Elka Kui has a really fat roster of characters and trying to bet it all on the Raiden Kano, not really working out to his favor. I always say this, Caboose, and I feel like sometimes when you try to abuse these really top tier characters against other top tier players, it doesn't tend to work out because I feel like the top tier characters, Raiden, Kano, Baraka, uh, Striker, um, who else? Just all those top tiers, I feel like the players make it a priority, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're going to be competing, you don't want to just get knocked out by that character that everybody complains about. Yeah. Oh, you bet, you bet, no. Oh, my God, the interruption right there. Yeah, he just one two his way out of there. That was beautiful. Right into another DDT. Elka Koi playing out of his mind with a right go. Listen, he said, you know what, Mighty Unjust? You're not helping me out. Pass me back the controller. <laughs> I mean, El Kukui has found a lot of success with his right go. Oh. The overhead. Oh, he's trying to go for that parry. Good sweep there from El Kukui, who's going to get opened up now. Dropped combo. King Gambler. It's late in the game. He cannot be dropping combos, man. The throw too slow. You want him to drop combos? The throw too slow. You want him to drop combos? Just let me know. I'll make him start dropping combos. Kukui stays alive, Destroyer. It's not going to be a 3-0. Looks like he got a mighty unjust off the sticks and said, you know what? Let me just let me just handle this. Seems to be working out for him. Seems to be working out for him for so sure. Far, so far. So fart. So many farts. Stinks. It friggin' stinks out here. We call people not in it. Fight. All right, King Gambler, start things off here in game four with this corner. Two throws now for an easy 22% of the life bar just erased in the blink of an eye. There's the parry. Oh, this hurts quite a bit. A great start to this game for King Gambler Destroyer. Nice flawless block from El Kukui. He's going to avoid a lot of chip damage that way. Oh, 
Here comes the zoning. Good keep away game. Playing that full screen. That's where you can kind of take advantage against Johnny Cage. Neutral jump. Couldn't get punished. To the overhead. Into the DDT. This is going to hurt quite a bit. Team Gambler not going to go for the breaker. He definitely will now. Yes, there it is. Oh no, El Kukui gets caught tossing some ninja stars. And that's the round. Now it's match point for King Gambler with the opportunity to eliminate El Kukui from the tournament and move on to the losing finals to face off against Bandino. El Kukui though, not gonna make that an easy road. It really is an El Kukui fighting his way out of this little crutch. Throwing ninja stars here. Oh my god. Gambler. And landing the throw. Oh, and the shadow kick into Goro. Okay, answers right back. Backing off here. Ninja stars. More ninja stars. Look for the down fourth, the grab whiff. And there it is, another low poke coming from El Kukui. Gonna stay alive. What is gonna happen here? Chat, make some noise in the chat. I wanna hear it through emotes. I wanna hear it through just activity, baby. Let's get it popping. The shadow kick's gonna connect. He hits him with the nut punch. Goes for the empty oh, jump in. My up. God! Plus frames. Knees. The bee's knees. Full stick of butter for King Gambler. Full stick of butter now, babe. I mean, bro, this is hype. We have so many viewers in the chat right now. I, I low-key feel like we hosted some Pro Tour stuff. <laughs> this is crazy. Seriously. Okay, so you, don't, so you call me an idiot. No, no, no. Thank you, everybody who's tuning in. We really, really appreciate it, guys. 900 people watching live right now. Incredible stuff. Let's get to 1,000. Listen, if we get to 1,000 yes. viewers, I will oh, I will no. start twerking. Is that death? I think that's that GG's, man. King Gambler with a huge Fatal Blow combo. And you know that Johnny Cage Fatal Blow. Wait. It does an Wait. insane amount of damage. Hold on. Wait. I think he's alive by literally a pixel. 48%. He is alive. You're right. All right. That toss the ninjas, Tarzan, Goro just, <laughs> just uppercuts. And that'll be it. King Gambler eliminates El Kukui from the tournament, moves on now to the losers' finals. Wow, what a way to close it out there. Gambler with a 3 1 over El Kukui, hitting him with a fatal blow that was just so explosive. It made El Kukui scream. Helicopter, helicopter. There it is. Man, what a top eight it's been so far. Destroyer, I cannot believe what we've been witnessing. All we ask is uh, if, if King Gambler can stay in the King of the Hill. We just got to invite Bandinos, and then we can get our Losers Finals match underway. Man, oh man. I'm honestly, I'm scared. I'm scared for this Losers Finals <laughs> match. I'm honest with you, Destroyer. This why, why are you scared? I don't know if I want to see either of these competitors get eliminated from this tournament, but also, more than that, I'm scared for these competitors because either one of them then has to move on to the grand finals and face off against the mighty unjust. And that is just, that's just not where you want to be. Let's be honest. Well, I do believe that either Bandinos or Gambler can definitely take on mighty unjust, right? So for sure. Still anyone's game, Caboose. I mean, Gambler just took out Mighty Unjust's brother, so like, and he and he and he let him play in the controller too, which is wild. <laughs> so he could he could definitely take out Mighty Unjust and Bandinos. I mean, Bandinos, I imagine, would be looking for the salty run back in this situation, and he did get a game on the board against Mighty Unjust when we saw that set earlier on. So he certainly has the ability. Wait, oh, I thought King Gambler had a Shuchenko cameo selected for a second there. You know how cool that would be? Like, See, that's another like, thing, too. I, was just, like, I know exactly what you're about right? to say. Just spill it. Spill like, it. 
that's another thing too, man. Like, I get it. I get it. Kung Lao cameo and Striker and all these other cameo characters, they're dominating. You're seeing so much play from them constantly. But like, how about instead of nerfing them into the ground to the point where it's just like, why even bother playing that character? How about instead we buff some of the cameo characters that you don't see nearly as Thank you. Thank you, Caboose. Thank you so much. It's what I've been preaching. It's what I've been asking for. That it just goes to show. Oh my God. Oh what? wait, wait, wait. Y'all want to? Yeah. Are they just gonna play it out? Uh, we. Okay. Okay. What was there a lag spike? A huge lag spike. Oh, I missed huge. that one. Holy cow! I mean, all right. They're gonna keep on running it. Good respect from the players. It was probably a little glitch in the system. But yo, like, uh, listen. I said this last stream, I think, and. Uh, I love NetherRealm Studios, right? These guys are the creators behind Mortal Kombat. I'm always going to be a fan of them. But man, I just wish they gave us some indication that they listened to, to us, you know? Sometimes it really feels like they're only listening to Billy Bob 256 who beat them in Combat League or something. Because Billy Bob is, a, is an important influence. I don't team, care man. about Billy Bob. But like, just, I'm, I, I don't mean to like stray away from the match, but exactly what you said, Caboose. We never, you almost never see Shujinko. There's cameos in this game that are almost non-existent. And they go yeah, they ahead and play. nerf Kung Lao, and they go ahead and nerf Striker. Not only does that affect your 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 uh, game, you know, a lot of people that main those characters, it was a big nerf, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. A lot of people would sit here and call me a scrub and be like, ah, they barely slapped them in the wrist. Yeah, because you don't play those characters, you don't play those cameos. And I'm, I'm, this is actually coming from a casual standpoint as well, if you think about it. Nerfing these type of characters, it, it, it's annoying because it makes the game less fun, in my honest opinion. You know, and I just hope moving forward for this game, honestly, asking for anything from NetherRealm in this game is just like throwing a needle in a haystack. But like, I, I'm just like, going to throw, listen, listen. throw it in the void. I hope we get more buffs to some of the characters and cameos that we don't even see for in sure. tournament. For sure. I mean, you're coming from a very passionate standpoint. I know you're such a huge fan of That is a lot of the people who are watching at home are right now, I imagine. Um, and at the end of the day, I agree. Like, what we want is you don't want it to be that at all times, there's essentially only three different cameo characters that are viable. You know, you want it to be that, like, man, I could, I could bust out Goro cameo any day of the week and, like, still keep up, right? Which you kind of can see yeah. that a little bit here with King Gambler. But also, you would want somebody to go and pick someone like Cyrax cameo again. You maybe want some people to pick Sector like, cameo, another cameo we don't see a whole lot of here. Like, bro, look, in, at, uh, in Mortal Kombat look at the chameleon cameo, right? If we're talking about, all oh, OP, nerf this, nerf that, how the hell they just released this balance patch and chameleon is the same cameo she is? Chameleon, chameleon is like five cameos in one. And she doesn't get anything nerfed on her, but then you want to go ahead and touch cameos that are like designed for a specific thing, right? Like Kung Lao. But you know what? He was a hard to blockable cameo. But you it, know what? It's, 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 that's just what it is. Chameleon? You bringing up Chameleon is so interesting because I feel like Chameleon was such a great addition to the cameo roster because it added a new cameo where it was like, this just does so much for your character, you know? It yeah. made it so that, yeah. Kung Lao is very vi viable. He's such a good cameo pick, right? Striker is very viable, really good cameo pick. But now Chameleon is thrown into the mix. It's another really good cameo for you to choose, you know? I feel like we need that for a lot of the cameo roster. You need that for a lot of the main roster. And I imagine it's very hard to do this. I'm not, I'm not a programmer. I don't know what it's like to make these games. I don't know what it's like to balance these games, right? Like I imagine it's probably a freaking nightmare for the people at NetherRealm to, to put all this together, to take in all the community feedback and try and listen to everybody and make everybody happy. But at the end of the day, yes, what we're trying to ask for here is, plain and simply put, more buffs, less nerfs, you know? Yeah. All right, back to the match. As we, yeah, oh, as he tries to that. jump in on him and he's gonna get caught by the net. Bandino's gonna take full advantage of this situation here. Gambler has taken that first game while we were going on our little rant there. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. That's it. I'm gonna see if I can get a job at NetherRealm Studios. Good stuff here from Bandino. Nice 
Okay, he's gonna be up the round. This is a huge, important match for these players. Whoever wins this will be moving on to face against the grand finalist in the winner side, the Mighty Pine Barons. Gambler down a round here in this second game, but he is unfazed destroyer. He's blocked round so far. He's part of Face Clan. He's part of the Face Clan. Nicely done. There's the Cyrax cameo to extend the damage on the throw. And he knows we'll just take the loss on the round. Probably smart not to hit the breaker in a position like that. And now max star power at the ready for King Gambler. He knows connects the throw. Back throw those. Back to the corner. Oh, but gets the Cyrax again for the extended damage. Ooh. Be careful. Escape failed. He tried to check the throw. Now the crushing blow throw is ready. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> nice. Keep done with the parry. King Gambler. And then wakes up with a shadow kick into Goro. Those conversions, man, with the Goro are so clean. Very clean. I think that's why I like watching King Gambler. I mean, you see a lot of Johnny Cage, of course, in, in competitive play. But I like watching King Gambler specifically because he's rocking a cameo that you just don't see a whole lot of in Goro. And he makes it work. He makes it work real effective with Johnny. There it is. There's that shadow kick into the Goro cameo again. He's trying to go for the overhead. Bandino doesn't allow it. Tech the throw as well. There's a couple of hits away, being able to tie up the set. All the same though, King Gambler, a couple of hits away oh, from being able to take the second the game. Breaker. Oh my God, he goes for the uh, meteor. The meteor strike. Two oh my God. meteor strikes, that's always First not gonna kill. The clock. Bandinos doesn't have meter. Gambler can lock him down here. The four oh. threes in the overhead. Oh my goodness. Oh. What? Gambler with that read off of the parry, but he wasn't able to get through the Cyrax cameo, and Bandinos was able to just slip by, tying the setup one-to-one. -one. What, what a sequence. I know, what the hell did we just watch? I have no idea what even went down there. I don't know why he didn't side switch off of that, uh, that parry. Never in a million years did I think I'd see a sequence like that. Never in a million years. What about two million years? Never in two million years did I think I'd ever see a sequence like that. What about seven trillion years? All right. How about that? How about seven trillion years, huh? I'll fall on your head like the new emotion. What do you think? What do you think, huh? Seven trillion years. You think you would have ever expected that? <laughs> Look at the uh, the tree in the background, and that's my expressions. Everything you have to say right now. The one on the right. Look at the tree on the right. That's my face. Any anything you have to say. <laughs> oh my God! The shadow kick. And Dino's. Looking very strong here. Goes for the standing one into the throw. Meteor strike. He doesn't want to connect that overhead. Ooh, the Cyrax cameo missed time there. Or at least he used the wrong Cyrax cameo, I should say. Allows King Gambler to get an opening. The back door to connect. Oh, he just goes for a fatal blow off the jump in. That's actually going to do the job. Honestly, kind of smart considering King Gambler had the three bars of meter. This avoids the breaker and this secures you the round. And that's just the beauty of having a fatal blow like uh, range, right? It's so versatile, Caboose. You can get it off of combos. You can get it off of an anti-air. You can get it off of like uh, a reactionary projectile punish. You can kind of do everything you want with that uh, fatal blow of range. Fatal blow of rain? <laughs> Rain's fatal blow. That's hourglass of rain. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That's about 40% of the health bar gone with the Cyrax cameo off the throw. That is what is so tough about having cameos that allow you to combo or extend combos off of a throw. Like, especially, I mean, Liu Kang with Kung Lao, man. Like, 
It's just so dangerous. Medina's has the breaker available. Not going to opt to spend the meter just yet. Wakes up with the throw. He sends Gambler into the corner now. Oh, and he's going to extend it once again with Zyrax. Oh, he wanted that back throw to end the game, actually. It's not going to work, though. Wow! Meteor strike. Oh, the parry! And that should be the round. Yes, King Gambler will cash out big time with the Fatal Blow to guarantee it. Man, if you would have commentators cursed out, bro, I would have been so sad. I would have shut off the screen. I would have teleported to the back of your crib, and I would have started screaming to the top of my lungs. I knew what you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> You would have started screaming. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. <laughs> chill, bro, chill. With the meter burn shadow kick to get through the meteorite. It's burned quite a bit. And that'll be that. Vandino is up two to one. A game away from his salty run back destroyer. Oh, he can definitely make this happen, bro. He can definitely make this happen. Mold, mold, yes, mold, 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 Man, he has had such a good loser's run here, Destroyer. He's been running a clinic. He is definitely not out of it just yet. Come rain, come shine. She's saying he's a loser. Look what stage this is. Your favorite stage. You know what's coming. I want you to just non-stop do the voiceover <laughs> for that guy. Look at look at look at He's already. Oh, 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 no, turned around. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, Randy is so bad. And Johnny, you, Johnny, you gotta hit him. You gotta hit him with the right hook. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, give me a Ah, you crazy. That's actually insane. You know, if you pay close attention, the guy that's kind of kneeled down, I think he's the same exact face model. <laughs> <laughs> this is low key the yin and yang stage. Okay, okay. Oh, nice tech on the throw. Gambler will now land a throw of his own. That's gonna actually take the round there. It does. King Gambler. Big Daddy Goro in the building. You know, I, I, I really hope we see Goro get a uh, a different move or something along the line. You know, I really like that they buffed Quan Chi with like a new move. I feel like Raiko, he's on the... Uh, He's on the cusp of getting a new move added to him as well. Okay, which that's, that's okay. All right. I think that's interesting. All right, Bandino takes this round. We are going to be in big trouble here. That's right. That definitely puts King Gambler in a very uncomfortable position. King Gambler. With a huge combo. Oh, but the wake up. Breaker immediately. The wake up. Connect the overhead, but catch the Goro cameo. Why don't you put on a little bit of makeup? Oh, nice throw. He's going to meet it for an extend the combo, and that's going to allow him to secure the round. Good stuff from Bandinos. Match point, man, and that was so close. Good block on the forward three. Kind of just has his back to the wall here. Bandinos right now. Needs to find some sort of escape, some type of breathing room to allevi alleviate this pressure here from Johnny Cage. 
Nicely done from King Gambler being so consistent. And meter burning that shadow kick to punish. get through the meteor, and he's gonna get a big punish inbound here. Starts like hell. 40% off that gets the opening, and we're going to a game five. Wow. You wouldn't want it any other way in this loser's final situation, Destroyer. But again, I do not envy either of these competitors for who awaits them on the winner's side of the grand finals. Yeah, you kind of got a two-in-one battle boss at the end. You get a bit of El Kukui and you get a bit of the Mighty Unjust. <laughs> yes, seriously. By the way, we are nearing the final moments of this tournament. If anybody wants to contribute to this whopping $4,600 plus prize pool, now is the chance. You can do so at exclamation point Matcherino as well. Make sure you guys check out the sponsor of this tournament, Odin Sama, luxury clothing brand, blessing each and every qualifier in this top eight finale with a custom merch. And I don't know if Odin told you, Caboose, but first place is gonna be getting some real special. What? What did they get? Uh, I think uh, like a special first place winner's prize custom merch as well. Ooh, and okay. Odin Sama said he's got he's got honey and he's gonna smear it all over him. Okay, let me stop. Hey. Sorry, there's the uh, breaker. Hey, Dinos, by the way, need to switch over to the chameleon cameo. Oh, he gets caught by the neutral jump, though, and now King Gambler is on match point. Oh, nicely done there from Bandinos. Connecting the Jade cameo gets a follow-up off of it as well. Meteorite. Really careful with those, though. Especially now that King Gambler has been so consistent at punishing it with the meter burn shadow kick. He got caught by the shadow kick, or he didn't get caught by the shadow kick, he got caught by the Goro cameo. Meter burns through, beautiful from Bandinos. Combo though. Starting to get a little scrambled eggs, Destroyer. You want some scrambled eggs? Oh, nicely done, the punish from Bandinos, avoiding the shadow kick, it's not gonna be the round just yet but he's gonna create some spacing using the toilet flush and the meteorite will close up the round. This is it. Losers finals, final game, final round between King Gambler and Fantino. The winner moves on into the grand finals to face off against the mighty unjust. Who's it gonna be? Right now, King Gambler has two bars of meter and the corner pressure. Oh he's gonna land God. another oh huge combo. Fantino's does not have the meter to break her out of this. He's just gotta eat all that damage. Can Fantino's catch up? There's a healthy life lead now for King Gambler, who is running a clinic oh, here in this final round, time. and he connects another Are throw. That's gonna right be now? it. That is gonna be it. My goodness, King Gambler activates Ultra Instinct, <laughs> and he moves Bring on it. to our grand final. Caboose, that was a near flawless victory right there from King Gambler. This dude literally just activated over 9,000 Wakataka Pintos Berries oh Deluxe goodness. and dished out quite the whooping to Bandinos for that final game to put himself in the grand finals here for Champions of the Realm Season 2 Finale. Wow. This is it now. Holy smoke. King Gambler, what a beast. What a loser's run that he has had here. Now advances into the grand finals. He is one set away from being crowned your champions of the realms, but he has Mount Everest to climb before he can get there. Mighty unjust on the winner's side of our grand finals at the top of the pyramid. Now I gotta I gotta mention here, this would be King Gambler's third game in a row. So I don't know if all Gambler's right, in the right, chat. Right. Gambler, do you want a break? We can take a five you know minutes what? for you. I think we we could all use a, a quick break. Why don't, yes. I think you know we what? could all use why a quick break. Do, why don't we do that anyways? We're going to take a break because it has been an insane amount of competition so far for this top eight. And we don't want to, we don't want to overwhelm uh, King Gambler. Wait, did King Gambler invite Mighty and just himself? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. We're not taking a break. Yo, never mind. I mean, yo, I didn't, look, I didn't. Did you yo, invite him? I, I didn't, didn't invite him. Listen, Caboose, the, the 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 dude is hot right now. The dude is hot right now. Let him go. Whoa, Let whoa, him go. Whoa, Let him go. Whoa. Let Wait. him go. Switch scenes, destroyer.
Oh! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is that John Cena? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because I just see Johnny Cage on the screen. What the hell's going on? I, hold on. Let me see. Does anybody see if King Gambler even has an opponent he's facing off against right now? I think, I I think it's John on. Cena, but... What's happening? Wait a minute. Is that not John Cena? I don't, dude, I just see Johnny. Okay, wait, it's King Gambler in the chat? I, I assume... I, I assume, King Gambler, you want to just keep going? You didn't want the break? Hey, the dude is on fire. I, I don't understand why he would want a break at this point. I guess not. Okay, there we go. Wait, he's this actually sticking to the Peacemaker for the this end? This is it. Our no. grand finals is underway no. between King Gambler and the Mighty Unjust. Gambler has to win two sets of three in order to be crowned our champion of the rounds for Yo. season two. I, One set I'm to reset the bracket. Ask, but can you do me the biggest win. favor and refund Fat Sausage's points? Oh, why? Did somebody try to go for uh, another, like, back to transformation? Yeah. Guys. Nobody uh, redeemed this, uh, the transformations because you might not get refunded. I accidentally forgot to turn them off. I'm, I'm running a lot of the production, so I apologize. Well, I'll give you your transformations the next time we live stream. We're not running a, a finale tournament, I promise. But here we go, grand finals. We got Peacemaker on the stream. This is what everybody wanted to see. Peacemaker. And he's rocking Peacemaker with the striker cameo still, so... Yo, I gotta give it up to Mighty Unjust. He's played like the whole roster tonight. <laughs> what do you mean? He only played Johnny, Raiden, and Kenshi. <laughs> Didn't he play, uh... Oh, if you, yeah, yeah, actually, if you, if you count all the times he played for Okafui, then yes. Wait, what? What? Who was it earlier? Yeah, didn't he, against Pulse, didn't he play like... Baraka, Tanya, and like a whole bunch of different characters? Nah, he, you, you bugging. Who was that? It was Fat Sausage. Oh, oh my, my god, here we go. He's gonna get a full combo. Perfect spacing on that forward 4 1. I mean, literally perfect spacing. My god, that was 383 on the money right there. Good defense from the mighty unjust. Just block it. Oh, how, how did that hit him up there? This is tough. I mean, the character was recently nerfed, but man, Peacemaker is a really strong addition to this game, dude. Bro, how did he hit him up there? I have no idea. Go to the forward four. Now, you can you can get your, uh, your meter burn shadow kick armored through that eagerly. It's safe on block, but you can get through there if your timing is right. Whenever I play combat league with this character, that is always what leads to my loss when somebody figures out that that forward four, that whole string into Eagly, it's not real. Let me give you the whole uh, Peacemaker experience. Give me the rundown, give me the rundown. Eagly, Eagly, Torpedo, Torpedo, Eagly, Anti-Gravity, Anti-Gravity, right, right. Eagly, Force Field, Force Field, Eagly, Eagly, Torpedo, Torpedo, Anti-Gravity, Anti-Gravity. I'm a stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Into Torpedo, 38%. Down one into Torpedo. Oh, King Gambler had the interruption. He didn't fully commit though, Destroyer. Well, he thought he was gonna get punished by the Striker. Oh, <laughs> no. King Gambler actually had a really smart idea there to go for the parry. But Mighty Unjust just hits the sweep and he goes, Do you really wanna, do you really wanna taste it? So you didn't watch the show. Oh, listen. <laughs> I watched the show. I watched the so show. Watch, so you didn't watch it, huh? You want me to say something that tells you I watched the show? Say it. I know you don't want me to start talking about Peacemaker's father. <laughs> we definitely don't want to start talking about that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, you, oh, you don't think I saw the show? Oh, you don't think I you don't think I know what the T1000 was up to, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you call the types are all soft. The bullshit on the internet is rotting. Here we go. Game two destroyer. King Gambler typed in the chat when he saw the peacemaker pick. He said, GG's, I do not know 
how to play against Peacemaker. You know, I don't think he's in as bad of a position as he might believe. Oh, that Eagly was not at the ready, Destroyer. He wasn't able to get that down forward four. But this hurts now. This hurts quite a bit. My goodness. 38% off that combo. Nice pickup from the Mighty Unjust. He's a mighty pine baron. If I've ever seen one, let's sweep up the, the area. <laughs> I hope Mr. Alchemist is somewhere out there watching because I, I, I'm, I'm almost 90% sure he's the one that told me that they used to call him the mighty pine baron. <laughs> nice torpedo there from Mighty Unjust taking the round so mighty unjust asked way earlier in the stream he said is peacemaker allowed and this dude kept his character in the chamber until the grand final he was, saving it for, he was saving it for grand finals that's unreal and what's really tough honestly about peacemaker is he does a lot of damage he's got good pressure but also man he can zone the hell out of your opponent with this guy he got, he's got a good full screen game. A block attempts. He's gonna get punished. Extra damage on the throw. Oh, and there's the shadow kick. Looking for the overhand. He's gonna neutral duck that 2 2 grab. Gun shot. And gets the throw. Okay, King Gambler still in there. Very much so. Oh, nicely done, King Gambler. Interrupt the anti-gravity attempt. That's going to be plus frames. The standing 2-1 pressure. That's not even... Standing 2-1 is not plus, right? No, I don't think so. No, uh, standing one one is what got nerfed. He, he actually had a, right. he had a couple buttons that got nerfed, but sta standing two one that's not plus. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I think maybe it is. Great pickup here from the mighty adjust. The torpedo. I feel like you could get like a standing bot or sorry standing three or standing four torpedo off that jump two one two. I think you can too. And there we go, the zoning. My goodness, Mighty Unjust now is up 2-0 with the Peacemaker. One game away from taking this entire tournament destroyer. King Gambler has to hit a reverse 3-0 in order to reset the bracket. And then he still needs three more games to take this entire set, Destroyer. Wow. I'm excited. I'm real excited. You know, we got Peacemaker in the screen right now. Grand Finals. And I wouldn't want it any other way. King Gambler, though, he's got a Mount Olympus to climb here. If he wants to reverse this set and potentially win this tournament to take the 50% of this prize pool, Gambler's going to have to play out of his mind. No, he seriously is. He has got a lock in right here, right now. Gambler taking a beat at the character select screen probably the smartest decision to make at this point considering the fact that this dude mighty unjust is on a freaking roll imagine he goes in the chat and he's like about that break <laughs> <laughs> to be honest though like i do understand why he wanted to just jump right into it because when you think about it like you don't want the break after you just won two games like that. You know, you're you're on that hot streak. You're playing really well. You want to maintain that momentum. And the break could have could have slowed him down a bit, right? Oh, he tried to punish, right. but the shadow kick it does not work, though. No, you're right. 37% off that combo. Mighty Unjust tried to catch the sweep. Okay, here we go, King Gambler. Gonna answer back, get a couple of hits in. 25%, respectable. Dashing around. Gets anti-air. This hurts. Again, he totally can get like a standing three torpedo. I don't want to give him any ideas. If he wants to, if he, if he doesn't want to dish out too much damage, that's you know, that's his prerogative. Yeah, that's his pierogi. That's his pierogi. It's tournament point now for the mighty unjust destroyer. 
Into the throw. Too slow. Good throw. Too slow. Oh, and Striker with the assistance. No press button, says Mighty Unjust. Delivering the pain. Yo, this is match board for the Mighty Unjust right now. He's got Force Field up. There's not, honestly, Force Field does nothing in this match. Oh, Goro, no. you know, Goro oh but the Eagle wasn't ready. King Gambler is safe. And that wow. is that. Mighty Unjust takes the tournament. He is your champion wow. of the realm with Peacemaker. Wow, wow, Wubsy. Season two finale champion, the Mighty Unjust, closing it out with Peacemaker Caboose. Did you see this coming? I did not. I mean, I thought he was going to pick Peacemaker a Yo, lot sooner. Can you ask, I thought uh, Mighty Unjust would ask Unjust if he wants an uh, uh, interview? We got to interview him. Yo, Mighty Unjust, you want to hop into Discord? And, tell him, and, to, and tell him to join uh, COTR General. We're going to give him a post-finale post, post -finale interview. If you, if you want to talk or if you want to do a little interview... I want to talk to him. ...post-finale, just join the uh, the Champions Realm General chat in our Discord, and we'll uh, we'll throw you in here. Tom, I want to talk to him. Man, I mean, you got to give it up, though, to King Gambler as well. Played his heart out, did extremely well throughout this entire tournament, had an incredible loser's run. He defeated Mighty Unjust's brother, to make it all the way into that grand finals. He had an incredible set against Bandinos where he popped off in that final round of game five, but it just wasn't enough, unfortunately, when he went up well, against yo, Mighty can, Unjust. Can I spill the beans, bro? Maker. Because I, 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 wanna, I wanna put it in the spotlight. Can, can I spill the beans real quick? What's up? So before we actually ran this tournament, I asked Caboose, I said, yo, who do you think is winning this whole thing? And Caboose <laughs> nailed it on the head. He nailed it on the head. And I'm going to be real with you. That was a tough prediction because a bracket this stacked, every single one of these players had to win an entire qualifier to get to this position, yep. to this finale. For sure. And I asked Caboose, I said, bro, who do you think is taking this? And he said, the mighty unjust. And look at that. The mighty unjust is going to be. I agree with the chat that says, so give Caboose the prize money then. I think that's right. I think that's only fair. You want the prize money? I think that's only fair. You're going to have to twerk for it. I mean work, work. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, oh my. I meant work. I meant work. Work, yeah, right. My, my right. bad. All right, what, what's the status with? Uh, uh, I don't know. Is mighty, is mighty unjust in the chat? With the mighty, mighty pine unjust, We want to. We want to get you on the mic. If he doesn't get on the mic, he don't get the prize money. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that, mighty unjust? <laughs> you know, listen. First player to join the post game interview gets the prize money. <laughs> nah, yo. Unjust, join the card real quick. Mighty Unjust is hitting exclamation point match arena right now. <laughs> he's ready to get paid. He's trying to look. Yeah, he's trying to look at the prize pool. He's ready right to now. get paid, man. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Yo, Mighty Unjust, join the uh, join the general chat in the Discord. We want to interview you, bro. Hold on, I had to switch the scene because. I don't, I don't think You're I can. You're a stupid idiot. No, because I can't have you on the screen at the same time. All right, we'll give him like one, literally one more minute to see what the, his take on it he is. He doesn't want to, then just like, just let us know if you don't want to. Nah, he'd rather just ignore us. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh my God, he still doesn't know what's going on. Type it to him. I don't think he's listening to the stream. Wait, why did Ludi join? Is that him? I'm so confused. Kaboos, why is Ludi? What's this guy Ludi doing? <laughs> is that the real one? I'm so confused. What's this guy Ludi doing? All right, jo join All right he joined. He joined. Join the yeah. Ludi. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yo, yo, mighty. Yeah. How you feeling? Pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Though. I Joey. That Joey is legitimately my tournament demon. He has really? killed me. Oh my god. Like that. That's. I'm gonna be honest. Only reason why I beat him was because he was in Brazil and oh, oh, he, he didn't laugh the character. 100. percent I'm was, just being honest. It was unjust versus G gambler, not Ben yeah. Gino's. Oh shoot. <laughs> Yo, uh, mighty though. I gotta ask you, were you were you keeping that peacemaker in your back pocket for the grant? Like, were you waiting? Again, yeah. Like the fact that he was in Brazil the whole time, like I knew he didn't know the matchup, so wow. it's like, well, it's like why would I pick that? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This guy's playing 40 chess. Again, he's been my tournament. He's, I, I can't even tell you. 
I knew the matchup. Like, bro, it's, it's like genius what he did. No, hundred percent. Like, like I, 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 he's so stupidly up on me. Like, it's not even. It's like it's not even That's funny. Crazy. Wow. That's well, crazy. I, I gotta ask. You know, I wanted to get you, uh, get you in here, not only to congratulate on your big win here, but. I want to hear it from a from a top player, a season two finale winner. How do you feel about the uh, the new patch that just dropped for Mortal Kombat One? Do you think it's gonna shake up the meta? Do you think these characters that are uh, they got a little slap on the wrist are still gonna be thriving? What's your thoughts on this latest patch? I know a lot of people complaining about it. I think it was a good patch personally. Okay. Uh, um, the fact that a stupid idiot. He called me. You know what? I'm taking the prize pool. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that I think should change is Raiden. He, like, he's the only character. That's, he's the most like uninteractive character ever. Uh -huh. um, I think the striker change was good. Um, it's still good. You just can't. Cause when I was, I played Pulse today, and like, I realized I'm like, damn, I can't play like as much as an idiot as I used to with the like, striker grenades anymore. Uh, like, I think, like, what's, um, what what would you the one big nerf or, or, or buff that you'd want to see for the game? Um, definitely more, like, add more moves for cameos, like, I'm again, the game, the game is what, like, what, like, six, seven months, and then, again, like, from what I know, people love to complain about shit, bro, it's like, including myself, bro, I, I understand that, <laughs> but, like, bro, like, the game's only six months old, like, I'll take this game over MK11 any day of the fucking week. Day. That I agree 100%. 100%. The game, the game is still like new. Obviously, if other fighting games have like all this other shit, but like, you just gotta, you just gotta give it time, bro. Um, in terms of like balance, I think every character is really. I don't think there's any bad character in this game. Oh. Um, I mean, no, you, you got a point. Because honestly, the more as time goes on, you start seeing these these top these top players utilizing characters like Scorpion or, or Sub-Zero like we saw in the Brazil comp. So you're right about that too, man. That's just Chameleon. Like, Chameleon is like... I, I think she should stay exactly the way she is. Everything is fine with her. The only thing I would get rid of is the, is the wake-up ball roll. That's the only thing I would get rid of. Everything else is fine. Well, there you have it. Damn. There you have it. Yo, Unjust, congratulations, man. Insane stuff. We hope to see you, uh, see you in Champions of the Realm Season 3. Wait, 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 wait. wait. One whoa, more question whoa. before we let you go. <laughs> One more question before we let you go. What's up? Who's the biggest stupid idiot, me or Destroyer? Wow. No comment. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said we're both stupid idiots. <laughs> you heard that? Nah, you put him in the spot. <laughs> I mean, but hey, listen, congratulations again. Big shout out to everybody that competed. You're going to be getting a fat bag, Mighty Unjust, 50% of the prize pool. So that's a, that's a good night. Good night to close everything yeah, out that's, on. that's like $2,300 in his pocket. We're going to break it all down for the competitors after the stream is over. Destroyer, what an incredible season two, man. Unbelievable stuff from everybody each and every week. Both the competitors, you on the mic, and as well the people at home watching for the support that they have shown for myself, for you, for the tournament hey, as a whole. Hey, look, Ninja Killer in the chat said, bro, does Unjust deserve Whoa. that money? Do something about a season three. Season three, Do yo, Ninja Killer, three. I was in his chat. I was in his chat. He said he's gonna pull up season three with his own peacemaker. I'm holding you to it, Ninja Killer. I better see you in there on season three, man. I better see you in there. Wait, 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 Mighty Unjust said get him back in the call for two. Hold on, hold on. What do you got to say, Mighty? This has nothing to do with MK. I hope the fucking Hell Divers devs are listening. Oh Revert my God. these <laughs> bro. Get, the this guy out of here. get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's talking about Hell Divers. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Yo. All right. Yo. Yeah, well, Destroyer, take us away, man. That was such a good top eight. It was such a good eight weeks of competition. We, we're definitely going to be back with season three, man. And we're really looking forward to hopefully a bright future ahead for Mortal Kombat yes, 1. Yes, a bright future for, for everything, you know? And, but yeah, I mean, that just about does it. I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in today. It's been one hell of a top eight finale. And season three, we'll get it started pretty soon. Um, We got, when, when does Janet Cage come out? The 20th? Oh, yeah, that's right. Pretty soon here, right? Is it on the 20th or the 17th or something like that? Let me search this up. Uh, let's see. 
I don't know if we have uh, what well, we should have a release date. I just can't remember when it was, but it's definitely this month. Has yeah. anyone in the chat got the answer for that? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But anyways, what I'm going to say is I definitely want to get COTR season two started up like maybe a, a week or so after uh, Janet Jackson pulls up. And yeah, I mean, I want to see how, how she definitely shakes up the meta because we saw the chameleon cameo was insane. And it kind of looks uh, there's like there's a lot of hype surrounding Janet Cage right now. Yeah. Especially, like, considering okay. People are saying like it's, it's like having Sento for well, everybody. Also, like I don't know if you saw, but I know a lot of people don't like talking about leaks and everything. But apparently, Janet Cage was early access for. Uh, I heard that that, that was she a was glitch. early access in the in one of yes. the towers. And yes. bro, you can get corner combos mid screen. I don't know if you saw that. You can get corner I didn't, combos I mid screen. I, I I heard that she was accidentally like it because they did this with Tremor too. I remember where like you could play as Tremor like early by accident. So I think, yeah, that ended up happening with Janet Cage as well. Listen, I'm looking forward to seeing what the community is going to do with that cameo. I'm hoping that if for nothing else, if we're not going to see bust for some of the cameo characters, you don't see a lot of play from. I'm hoping that the combat pack cameo characters are all like so good, maybe outside of Tremor, that it's like it just adds a ton of variety to the game because Chameleon Definitely shook up the meta quite a bit. And I'm wondering if Janet Cage is going to do the same thing. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, again, like we said, we're all just hoping for a brighter future ahead for Mortal Kombat 1, especially for us running tournaments. We're really looking forward to seeing crossplay being added to King of the Hill. We hope it runs smooth so that we can run some massive tournaments for you guys in the future. We're definitely going to get rolling with Season 3 as soon as possible. Me and Destroyer are going to try and lock down some dates and get it rolling for you guys. But man... What a season two this was, Destroyer. Yeah. It was incredibly hype. Each and every week, you guys brought the thunder. And as always, I just want to give the biggest shout outs to you, Caboose. Always holding it down on the mic with me, bro. You are a legend, and I wouldn't want to have any other co-host but you. Also, massive shout outs to the That's channel. right. I hate Mr. Aquaman and Top Seattle. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I'm saying. We, we got some good synergy yes, yes, going yes, on. I, got you, I, got I also you. want to say massive shout outs to Taro Temptress, a.k.a. S.M. Howard, a.k.a. Pipi und Kaki Kaka Pipi Land, for running each and every week very smooth. And big shout out to the contributors of the tournament. Is the Macharino still at that so number? So our Macharino, I think we are locked at uh, $4,615. $4, it's a, $4, it's a fat look, prize pool. If we look at the top contributors right now, Skeptum donated a total of $2,855. We've had some prize pools Yo. in the past for like MK11, MKX that were less than that total. <laughs> so Skeptum, thank you so much for the incredible contributions. Double Knives donated almost $500 himself. Hawk OD with $380. And a ton of you other guys. Blaine Tiger with $30 today. Bryant with $100. Unlucky Robot dropped 200. Odin Sama, the sponsor of the tournament, dropped 150. You guys have been incredible with the support that you showed to the Macharino, to our tournament, to our channels. You know, 25 gifted in the chat tonight to Destroyer's channel incredible incredible stuff we really could not appreciate you guys enough and big shout out to you as well destroyer locking it down on the mics with me as well and then as well with the production you're always holding it down behind the scenes running an incredible show for the people at home all right well that just about does it you got anything to say bro i'm ready to get out of here that's it thank you guys all for tuning in we had a blast throughout this last two months commentating with you guys and we will be back very soon for season three but until then, Destroyer is definitely going to be running some Champions of the Realms arenas. You can watch out for that. And he's probably going to be playing some more Helldivers. Keep it locked to his channel. Make sure you're following. Make sure you got his notifications on. I'm also going to be streaming here and there. You know, we got some updates coming up for Suicide Squad later this month. I might be streaming a little bit of that. And maybe I'm going to be streaming some Peacemaker, you know, because I kind of like playing as that character quite a bit online. I've been doing all right in the combat league, you know? Um, but hey, check it out on my channel. You can check me out, twitch.tv slash caboose. Make sure you're following Destroyer right here. I've been Caboose. That's my boy, Destroyer. Stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.